Hi, Hello sisters. everyone! Today is day 48 and today is also the first day of the Fontaine release. Yes, it is now officially version 4.0 for Gadget and any- Oh my god, I actually do not know what to expect for today. <laughs> yeah, so basically what I'm gonna try to do is um, I'm gonna try to do what I can for the Fontaine Archon Quest Act 1. Yeah, we'll try to do Act 1 today and um, I'm not really sure how long it's gonna take. Because um of course there will be some exploration in between. Yes, this is a this is a whole new region altogether. Aww, and um do I have to actually I think papers? this is the first time that I'll be streaming why? our conquest for uh for an entirely new region because um the last our conquest that I streamed was um Caribur and um that was that was just a very um it, it I could say that it's not really um a quest for a major region but more like um it's it's um it it highly focuses more on kranria yes <laughs> yes yes so yeah um today will be a very very big day and um i'm i'm not sure how long this stream is gonna be but we'll see we'll see <laughs> And yes, and as you can see here, I'm actually standing My in front of this so great sore. um waterfall <sighs> view over here. Doesn't it's actually you can actually see time. this um these waterfalls oh, um even though you're you are still standing in <laughs> in the Sumeru Desert. Wait, actually let me go show you real quick. Okay, so I'm standing here oh look at that. I'm <laughs> I'm standing in the on the latest desert um area. Yes. It's actually crazy to think that there's actually a big um waterfall area here. Like look at the contrast between the desert and the and the waters. Oh my god. And actually I'm kinda tempted to glide all the way over there, but I but what I do know is that we do Why need to go do through, the, so through the through the through the Archon quest to get Why? here, I think. Yeah. And actually, yeah, surprisingly, the very first location for this Archon Quest is in is all the way in Caravanry, but for some reason I I really don't know why. I really I really don't. Because it's all the way here. Like how how? <laughs> how are we gonna go to Fontaine through this um through this um route over here? I guess we'll see. <laughs> yes, yes. Also, by the way, before I start this um, Archon quest, um, let me just remind you, please do not mention any spoilers since this will be the first time that I will do the quest. Yes. And yeah, um, because if you say spoilers, Nouvellet, the Chief Justice of Fontaine, will bonk you. <laughs> yes. Okay, anyways. Let me go teleport right here. To be honest, I'm not really ready to say goodbye to Sumeru since I still have some... I still have a lot of unexplored areas here. So rather than saying goodbye to Sumeru, what I would say is that um, I, I'm, I'm just going to take a quick little detour to Fontaine. <laughs> yeah, we're not saying goodbye to Sumeru yet. I still have a lot of stuff to do, especially with this um, area right here. I'm actually so glad that they added some multi-layered maps now because if I if I attempted to to navigate my way here in the underground areas I would have um <laughs> I would have gotten lost very easily so yeah okay anyways let's let's proceed actually I don't I don't think I've read the quest description for this yet okay Solvis prologue. Go to Caravan Ribat. It is time to go to Fontaine, it seems. The next phase of your journey is about to begin. Come on, Caravan Ribat! Huh. Now let Paimon think. What were we up to the first time we came here? Oh, Paimon remembers! Nahida's consciousness had been trapped by the doctor, but we followed the clues she left behind to help her. I guess we may have stumbled upon this place at some point before. So much time has already passed since then. And it seems Sumeru is changing for the better now that Nahida's in charge, right? Paimon just hopes this peace will last a long time. And then Nahida won't have any more new problems to deal with. Yes, but as long as we're around, it's hard to say what will happen. Yeah, guess 
you right. Hmm. We somehow always find ourselves right in the thick of it. Who knows what will happen next? Come to think of it, maybe it's all because of you. Maybe you're just a magnet for trouble. I was just thinking that you might be the problem, Paimon. <laughs> She was super tired. Paimon got caught in some strange whirlpool. Oh, that's new. And even then, you fished Paimon out. She never mentioned any whirlpool before. <sighs> anyway, for Nahida's sake, maybe we should think about heading to our next destination for now. Next stop, Fontaine. Ah, look who it is. Oh! Running into you in a place like this? I can see you two still love wandering around. It's good to see Dea here. Oh, it's wandering around we're usually taking care of some serious business even though it may have nothing to do with our journey but never mind that what brings you here i just finished a commission in the desert for a usual client of mine nothing too interesting just escorting a shipment of goods i'm on my way to report back that's when i saw you two all the way over there chatting away what were you two talking about anyway we're preparing to leave Sumeru and head to Fontaine. Oh. Huh? Y you serious? Can't say I saw that coming. Hmm, but you are travelers after all. I guess you'd never stay for too long in one place. Bumping into you like this will become a rarity. Ah, I'm starting to feel sad just thinking about it. Hey, how about I gather a few mercs to escort you two? Oh! What do you say? No need. Oh, Paimon had no clue you'd miss us so much. <laughs> don't worry. We'll come back to see everyone when we get a chance. <laughs> Sounds good. All you need to do to get to Fontaine is cross this stretch of desert and navigate some waterways. Knowing you two, I'm sure it won't be anything you can't handle. So, uh, when are you leaving? We'll leave as soon as we've finished a few more preparations. Oh, wait a sec. Paimon just remembered there are still a few dishes in Sumeru that Paimon hasn't tried yet. Now, where's that list Paimon made? Hmm. This NPC has been eavesdropping on us for quite a while now. <laughs> I see. Guess you won't be needing a going away party or anything. It's sad enough to see you go like this. Though, now that I think about it, Sumeru wouldn't be what it is today without you. Seems true heroes always prefer leaving quietly. <laughs> by the way, should we go say bye to Nahida? In her case, she'll know from our dreams anyway. <laughs> oh, good point. Then there's no need to bother her in the real world. Then, I guess this is goodbye for now, Traveler and Paimon. Whether as a client or a friend, you're always welcome to come find me. Take care. Goodbye, dear. I'm I'm actually not sure, but I think this might be the first time that a character said goodbye to us before we left for the next region. I could be wrong though, because um back in the Monster Archon Quest, it was Venti who told us to go to Leo and X. So yeah, that could be a kind of goodbye. But um, as for oh yeah, okay. And then for the Leo Archon quest, the last one we talked to was Zhongli. And then for Inazuma, the last one we talked to was Yaimiko and not A for some reason. Yeah. Yeah. After settling matters in Sumeru, you approach the border with Fontaine. And here we are again. We're back here. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna we're gonna glide all the way here then. Okay, we can do this. Imagine, imagine traveling all the way to Fontaine just to glide all the way there again. Like, <laughs> how about the people with no gliders? Okay, I, I guess they can take a ship there, but where though? Anyways, we'll just glide there. <laughs> I love the sea here. And actually, I already took some pictures of this waterfall at night a while ago, and oh my god. It looks so pretty. 
And as you can see over there at the very top of this tower thingy, you can see the Statue of the Seven there. I'm assuming this is the water railway system that got um, introduced to us in the 4.0 special program. Also, B468, welcome to the stream. It's a good thing that I haven't run out of stamina now. <laughs> I still have enough stamina. Waterfall is so pretty. Yes, I know, right? I could hang out here all day. <laughs> <laughs> okay we're almost there we're almost there oh my god stamina please um please pull through <laughs> okay 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 we got this we got this yes okay plunge attack oh Whew, that was so close Yeah, they have a lot of mechanic stuff. It's even more impressive than I expected. Just seeing the sights as a tourist is nice, but maybe it would be better if we found something to do. What do you think? Let's start by meeting the Hydra Archon. Good idea. Nahida gave us lots of useful information. Seeking out the Seven is probably still our best source for information at this point. Our journey is to find my sibling and also to find the truth. I don't think so. Very unique personality, whatever that means. Well, she does see some um, court trials as a form of entertainment, so. To learn about a nation's god, start with the nation's people. There seems to be some locals talking over there. Let's go see if we can join the party. Alright, it's interview time. <laughs> If you ask me, it's a tragedy how things ended for him. Clearly, he was a pretty decent person. Yeah, I didn't expect that kind of ending for him. I thought he would at least fight on a little longer for his family. I was expecting a sudden plot twist, but it's a pity um, that it never happened. Still, his story is quite the tearjerker. I think they're talking about the court trial. Uh, excuse me. Can I help you too? I couldn't help but notice you standing here listening. Uh, hi. <laughs> We're travelers new to Fontaine. And we had something we wanted to ask, but you seem to be really busy talking about some kind of play, so we didn't want to interrupt. <laughs> uh, play? Oh, no, no, no. We're talking about something that really happened. In fact, it's a case that was just I knew it. days ago. Really? Like, a real trial? But the way you were talking about it and the words you used just now made it sound like some kind of story. Well, good tales are often based on true stories, aren't they? And what you see in reality may also be someone deliberately putting on an act while harboring ulterior motives. Whether something is true or not simply isn't that important. The main thing is whether the story being acted out on the stage is splendid enough. Oh, but it looks like you're not from around here. You probably don't know that the Fontaine Court of Justice is called the Opera Epicles, or more commonly known as just the Opera House. So they see trials as a sort of opera. But, uh, shouldn't court cases be treated a little more seriously? That's Fontaine for you. <laughs> Not to question Fontaine's way of doing things. It's just that putting someone on trial is usually a very serious thing. <laughs> no worries. Other visitors to Fontaine have wondered the same thing. You could say that we just don't want to waste the moving stories behind those cases. Also, Solomaya, thank you for the lurk. And as for your worries about whether the cases are treated with due reverence, we have the absolutely just and honorable Chief Justice Nouvellet. As well as the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal, a machine created by the Archon. Between the machine and oh. Chief Justice, 
False charges and injustice are a thing of the past now. Oh, so it was false alarms who created the Orages. So, okay, if we recall from the Genshin 4.0 special program, it was revealed by the developers that the Orochis is some kind of machine that generates their um, main source of energy. And, um, and actually, that main source of energy gets generated whenever there's a trial. So, yes. <laughs> a judgment device created with Argon. So, this is the Nation of Justice. Pure trees? Is it some kind of machine, too? Oh, Paimon's curious. We should check it out if we get the chance. Wait, Paimon almost forgot to ask you our question. Um, do you know what we should do if we want to meet the Hydro Archon? Oh, that's easy. Just go <laughs> to the Opera House. Lady Farina practically lives there. You could definitely say it's her biggest passion. <laughs> I love how we can just walk into her, to her favorite place or something. <laughs> yeah, because um, in the previous regions, it took us so long to to recognize the Archon or something. Yeah, because with Venti and Zhongli, of course, they are living in incognito. And then when it comes to A, we actually. <laughs> We actually had to talk to her puppet first before her actual self. So yeah, it, it kind of took a while, but also not really. And then for Naida, she was locked up for a very long time. So yeah. <laughs> this might be the fastest Archon introduction yet. <laughs> I think what they mean is that they wish to speak with the Archon personally. In that case, I'm afraid it's going to be a tad more difficult. You'll have to make an appointment well appointment. in advance, and it'll depend on whether or not she has any time slots available. <laughs> time slots? Huh. Is the Hydro Archon super busy taking care of official stuff? Wait, didn't you say that she's always at the Opera House? No, no. Lady Farina seldom takes an interest with the nation's affairs. Oh. The reason it's difficult to make an appointment is simply because she's incredibly <laughs> popular. Also, I see Lynette here in the background for That's some reason. Right. After all, she is the Archon. <laughs> she may tend to get a little dramatic from time to time. People can't get enough of her. Just she's like a celebrity or something. <laughs> so then I wanna make third god she's just over there. <laughs> yeah, it kinda it kinda feels weird now now that I think about it. Like <laughs> Never heard of an archon being described that way before. Oh my god. <gasps> Wait! Hyman gets it now! The Hydro Archon is kinda like a big celebrity here, right? Yeah, I suppose you could say that. <laughs> Perhaps you could mascot? even say our mascot. Okay, this kinda reminds me of the 3.8 event that was not long ago because um as we recall the the caretaker of the domain there is actually India and she's an ocean it and she also she also refers to herself as a mascot. So yeah, that's a kinda a good callback there. Hang on. This is still Fontaine's Archon you're talking about. You should show some more respect. Yes, you're right. I guess I should at least try to be a little more respectful in front of visitors. Otherwise, I might get arrested <laughs> and find myself face to face with Monsieur Nouvellet. <laughs> Come on. Sure, there's a lot of laws here, but nobody's going to be arrested for saying something disrespectful about the Hydro Archon. Seems the people of Fontaine really like the Hydro Archon, but they don't appear to revere her. Alright, I think we get it. Thank you! At least we now know that we can find the Hydro Archon at the Opera House. Who knows how long making an appointment will take? <sighs> Guess we could have a look around the city in the meantime. Yeah, she is busy binge watching court trials at the moment. Hey, what are you looking over there for? <laughs> There's a girl over there. She's been standing alone for quite some time. Huh. Maybe something's the matter. <gasps> She's going to jump into the water, is she? Uh, maybe we better go check on her. I think she'll be pi- I think she'll be fine, Paimon. <laughs> I almost said I think she'll be fine. <laughs> it's supposed to be fine. <laughs> okay. Okay, that is Prelude of Blan Blanchard and... 
Oh my god. I'm gonna have such a hard time pronouncing the French words here, but we will do our best. We oh wait, 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 wait. Is that a hydroclus over there? Wait, okay. Lynette, you stay over there. I'm gonna I'm gonna go take a look real quick. Yeah, just stay right there, Lynette. Oh wow. Okay. Oh shoot, okay. It looks like wait. I did not expect the Hydroclus to look like that, but it's so cute. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna... I hope I still have enough stamina here. Okay. I guess I could climb this boat. Okay, here we go, here we go. <laughs> I'm gonna get so distracted by all the Hydroculus here. I haven't even completed my Dendroculus yet. Dendroculi. Plural. Okay, let me go fly up here real quick. Okay. Yay, our first ever Hydroculus! Let's go! Okay, let me go check that in the inventory. Wait. Okay, here we go. Hydroculus, a substance that has accumulated intense hydro energy. Offer it to the statue and help reinstate the power it, it has lost over the years. Okay, now that I think about it, this kind of looked like waves to me. At first, it looked like leaves from afar, but yeah, it looks like waves. Okay, we are done with our mission for today. We can now go back to the net. <laughs> okay, let me... Okay, there we go. Oh, by the way, to those who haven't claimed their Lynettes yet, you can now claim your free Lynette. We have a free Lynette, everyone. You don't have to pull for her. <laughs> yeah, yes. And um, actually, it's a good thing that they gave us a free Fontaine character because from what I've heard from the live stream, we do need a Fontaine character for some of the exploration mechanics here. So yes. Hello, Lynette. Okay, let me go take a picture real quick. Yes. Let's go. I love how Lynette and Scaramouche have the same color scheme, almost. <laughs> we gotta love the teal green for Animo. Teal. Not teal green, teal green. <laughs> also, I already tried out Linny and Lynette a while ago in the character trials and oh my god. I did not expect that I'm gonna like their playstyle. Their playstyle is so cool and flashy. Unfortunately, I won't be pulling for Lini though because um, I'm actually saving my Prima Gems for for Fosalors. <laughs> yes. But as for Lynette, since she's free, I'm gonna be using her real soon once Relax. she's fully built. <laughs> also, I'm wondering if Lynette is a cat or something. Because she has cat ears and a tail. But why the... Wait, but wait, wait. If... If, um... If Lynette has cat ears and a cat tail, how come Linny doesn't have cat ears and a cat tail? What is going on? I do not understand their biology. <laughs> uh, hello there. Excuse me. Are you alright? Huh? Ah, uh, I'm fine. Thanks. Oh, okay then. We just noticed that you seem to be worried about something. About many things, actually. But there's nothing I can do but just keep my troubles to myself. I was just reminiscing about a place my brother and I would play when we were kids. It was just atop that hill over there. See? Uh, you're pointing at the sea. <laughs> Wait, are you saying that you and your brother lived in the water? Maybe they're mermaids? No people call the waters around Fontaine a sea. It's actually just an inland lake that's filled with fresh oh. water. And though I can still see that hill clearly in my memories, now it's been completely submerged. He would skip and jump, tossing sand in the wind. The sun shone brightly, and the air was filled with the scent of the sea. But now, the water is gradually swallowing our memories. <sighs> It won't be long before it swallows us. I wonder if um 
if Fontaine is experiencing some kind of water level problem at the moment. Uh, sorry, Paimon doesn't really get what you mean. Ah, I don't believe we oh. have the pleasure of meeting. Are you Lynette's new friends? We just met, but okay. <laughs> Thanks for looking after my sister. She often comes here to reminisce about our childhood, that's all. There's no need for any concern. Oh, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Linny, and this is my sister Lynette. If I had to guess, I'd say you must be travelers from abroad. It kind of feels surreal that the twins are actually... Uh... Playable now. <laughs> yeah, remember back in the old days of Genshin, they were just they were just um <laughs> they were just characters from a trailer. Nice to meet you. And now they're My here. Name is Paimon, and this is a traveler. We just arrived in Fontaine. We were just talking with your sister. Uh, even though we didn't really get what she was saying. Hmm, I see. It's unusual for Lynette to be so willing to talk with anyone. In fact, she seldom speaks at all. I'm usually the only one she ever talks to. Oh, really? Then you two are just like us! Paimon's always the one talking for some reason. There's hardly anything left for me to say with you around Paimon. Because you always steal all my lights. Oh, the call out. Yes, go <laughs> so say it, traveler. I mean, it's true though. It's true though. Like, okay, I don't usually complain about Paimon. However, however... I also think my brother can be too talkative at times. <laughs> Seems you were right, Paimon. We are quite similar. <laughs> so, what did Lynette mean just now when she said that the water is engulfing your memories? And that it won't be long before it engulfs you, too. Oh, that. It's from a prophecy that's been circulating oh. in Fontaine for some time now. Well, I suppose prophecy isn't exactly the right word. Because that implies a certain amount of uncertainty. Mm. There's no doubt about what's happening in Fontaine now. Oh, what's happening in Fontaine? Where to begin? Hmm. Let's put that question on hold for a moment. We still haven't formally <laughs> greeted each other yet, have we? He's gatekeeping the lore. Uh, did all the introductions earlier not count? Hello, traveler. <laughs> We're really doing this step by step. Hello, Lena. It's a pleasure to meet you. And hello, Paimon. Jake. You're not poking fun at Paimon, are you? <laughs> Please, don't take offense. Ah. Just consider it a sort of etiquette we have here in Fontaine when making new friends. You should remember it. It might prove useful. Oh. No, yeah, it's always good to learn yeah, new etiquette when you're traveling to a, to a new place. By the way, we were just getting ready to go to the Opera House to meet the Hydro Archon. Would you be able to show us the way? Oh, so you're going to see Lady Farina? No problem at all. In fact, I was planning to go to the Opera House later myself. Well, that was quick. I'll gladly take you once I finish things here. Please, follow me. Can't believe we're getting... We're gonna go see the Archon at the very first act. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Oh, we're walking with him! This is so nice. Aww. Okay. Should I walk faster than them or... Actually, let me... Oh. I was supposed to switch to walking mode there. <laughs> oh! Uh, you said you were going to see Lady Farina? Well, it seems Lady Farina has come to see you. Oh! Well, that was quick. <laughs> Even quicker than I expected. Oh. Oh, Chlorine. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Oh my god. This is indeed the quickest Argo introduction ever. 
What? <laughs> she's standing there for dominance. I can't believe this. So, she's the Hydro Archon? But, how did she know we were looking for her? My dear people, rich and poor, oh, no. those with cup in hand and those with nothing at all. What? Raise your glasses in celebration. <laughs> if you don't have one, then just raise your hand and leave. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm glad they made her so As annoying. <laughs> two unfamiliar travelers have arrived in our nation. Come. Let us make a toast in honor of this traveler and her companion who have journeyed here from distant lands. I kind of want to see her and Fischl talk to each other. Uh, is she talking about us? Nobody here seems to be holding a glass. I've long heard of the turmoil and chaos you left in your wake as you visited other nations. But I welcome you nevertheless. No. I have come to receive you personally. Fear is for <laughs> insignificant cowards. I am a god. Oh my and god. I never entertain the notion of such meaningless wariness. You can be rest assured. I see clearly your sincerity. Of course, seeking an audience with me is the most sensible thing to do. It will allow you to truly behold my power and witness my authority. Intelligent people always gather under the <laughs> correct banner. I love her VA so much. I, Thosalor, hereby welcome you to the nation of Hydro and acknowledge the value and significance of your trip. Now, you may rejoice in this. Well, finding the Archon was easy enough. Yeah, Hyman still can't believe it. Feels like we've only been here for a few minutes. Yeah, she had such a short time to make her grand entrance. Oh my god. But she came Hyman prepared. Entrance was, uh, how should Paimon describe it? A little over the top? Ahem. <clears throat> uh, Miss Hydro Archon? How did you know we were coming? Uh, I see. As outlanders, you inevitably lack even some of the most basic understanding. Don't forget that even the gods can be divided into oh. the mediocre and the excellent. I suppose She's trash talking to other art gods. <laughs> awestruck by my abilities. You had best stop and consider. Do I love that she's so annoying. I swear. I love it so much. Communicate with a god. All it takes is a flick of my finger for me to know everything about you. Oh, talk about sounding high and mighty. Feels like she can't get over herself. <laughs> oh, what's with these looks? Perhaps the welcoming ceremony still isn't enough? Hmm, what else should I say then? Uh, is she waiting for us to start talking? Wow, I didn't expect to see Lady Farina here. What a surprise! Wait, does this mean they're the legendary blonde traveler? How did I not notice before? Though we're that famous. <laughs> hey, what's all the commotion? Oh, is that Lady Farina? Is there some kind of drama going on? No, we're we're having a very unexpected welcome party. Yeah, yeah. Of course. <laughs> That's the blonde traveler, the one all those stories are about. Lady Farina came here to personally see her. Oh, I bet this is going to be the duel of the century. Oh, I've got to see this. I knew Lady Farina would never disappoint. <laughs> yes, but don't get too excited now. My dear believers and spectators alike tend to get quite rowdy. And despite the noise, I've come to tolerate all their ruckus. You may consider this my reward to all of you. I have determined that there will be an epic duel oh. between myself and this traveler from another land, just as you were hoping to see. Uh, Are we gonna fight here? Wait. <laughs> Bye. 
fighting gods, I've got the resume. <laughs> Uh, we did fight A not once but twice and we also fought her puppet. So yeah. What are you trying to do, Traveler? <laughs> Provoking a god in front of her people? <laughs> I mean down, you started friend. it first. <laughs> I admire her bravery. Few have the courage to draw their sword against a god. She is obviously a true warrior. <laughs> Unfortunately, people nowadays only crave to be thrilled, and a mere duel will not slake their thirst for excitement. Huh. Yeah, she's right. Just a duel wouldn't be all that interesting. <sighs> On Araneus, criminals are always requesting duels to defend their honor. I'm getting a bit old to tell the truth. You see. Then, as the god oh. of justice, I shall face but he didn't do anything. Another kind of duel. A duel in court. Objection. Oh, all right. Now that we didn't even seen. do a crime. Right. This is Fontaine, after all. It's such a grand opera house. It would be a pity not to use it. Unless they made a fake crime for us or something. What do you care so much about the crowd's reactions? Seems you've spent a little too much time in the opera house. Besides, how exactly do you plan to have a duel in court? You mean you're going to put us on trial? And they haven't committed any crimes, it literally just arrived here. <laughs> oh, we have reason to put you on trial. It's obvious, isn't it? Obvious? According to Fontaine Law, no one is permitted to release any flying objects within Fontaine City huh? Limits during the first three days of each month. You are clearly guilty of violating this law, no? Release any flying objects within Fontaine City Limits during the first three days of each month. You mean our glider? Oh, so that's what they've done wrong. Mm, that's Our Lady Farina. No one knows the laws of Fontaine like she does. You call that obvious? What kind of ah, okay, that? okay, not the glider. Flying <laughs> object? You mean timing? Uh. Precisely. <laughs> now, if you two have no objections, then in the name of the Hydro Archon, <laughs> I order your arrest. My apologies, Lady Farina. I don't mean to spoil the fun, but if you would allow me to interject, I don't think that Paimon here meets the definition of a flying object. You tell her, Linny! Finally, someone who's not crazy. How could anyone call Paimon a flying object? Yeah, when are we gonna get Paimon, Lord? It's been now. It's been years. <laughs> ah, great magician, what even is Paimon? My beloved citizen. <laughs> I'll permit you to object, but how exactly do you plan to prove your claim? <laughs> As a magician who just rained on your parade, I naturally should shoulder the responsibility of saving the show. So, with such an audience gathered here, allow me to perform a trick for everyone. I love how they're talking in theater terms. Oh! Hmm. Ta da! What? What's that on Paimon's back? Hey, when did you do that? Ah, when Lainey patted you on the back. So, this is a flashback over here. So, he knew he, we were gonna get arrested. As you can all clearly see. Paimon should be classified as, well, something a like a balloon. balloon. <laughs> this rope has been in the traveler's hand all along. It was just that no one could see it before. 
<laughs> you call that magic? You've got to be joking. <laughs> well, I thought it was pretty good. Nice one. Huh. I'm not sure what to think. It <laughs> seems Lady Farina's charges no longer hold water. of unexpected twist that I enjoy. With you here, today's performance can finally Gosh. be complete. She really just treats us as an, an amusement of some sort. Performance? You see all this as a performance? That's the harsh reality, Paimon. Welcome to Fonte. <laughs> In which case, consider the matter of your trial resolved. The god of justice will not bring charges against an innocent person. But when there are valid grounds, I will not only judge mm. travelers from abroad, but even the gods. Oh. Of the <laughs> I look forward to seeing your upcoming performance at the Opera House, Mr. Linny and Miss Lynette. That's enough for now. Toodaloo! I cannot wait for the Arco for the other Archons to have voice lines about Purina. <laughs> also, by the way, um, thank you for the lurk, cool girl, and welcome to the stream, Draco, and it's Maroon. <laughs> and just like that, she's gone. <laughs> well, that's the most unpredictable Archon Paimon's ever seen. You never even had a chance to ask her anything. But that's a problem for future Paimon. That whole scene just now was really... Did you know that was going to happen? Don't mention it. I just happened to remember that there was such a law. So I did a little preparation. Just in case. I didn't think it would actually come in handy. So. Now do you see what kind of god Lady Farina is? She can be a bit confusing at times. But she is still amenable to reason. Yeah, confusing is a good way to put it. <laughs> anyway, Paimon had no idea you were a magician, Linny. It sounded like you'll be performing at the Opera House, right? <laughs> I just know a few simple tricks I use to make a living. Lynette is my assistant. It will actually be my first time performing on the most prestigious stage mm. in Fontaine. The Opera House. But isn't the Opera House where criminal trials are held in Fontaine? When there are no public trials being held, the Opera House hosts a variety of other performances. To the people of Fontaine, the line between a trial and a performance can be a little blurred. And speaking of performances, I would be remiss to forego this opportunity gifted by fate. Might I invite the two of you to see my performance? My brother's always excited to make new friends. Oh, sure! We don't really have anything to do now, and we wanted to go to the Opera House anyway! I would be delighted. Splendid. In that case, why don't we go together? I'll show you the way. I just have something to take care of first. Is there any way I can help? Oh, you really mean it? Then I'll take you up on your offer. This is a magical item known as a magic pocket. Perhaps you can help me distribute them to the people here. Oh, it's a bag. <laughs> That is quite big for a pocket, sir. About that. Hmm. You asked me before about the prophecy, right? Let me start by telling you a little more about what it entails. I'm not sure exactly when it began, but a prophecy has been circulating around Fontaine. Ah. It says that every person in Fontaine is born with sin. No matter how the Nation of Justice holds trial after trial, this sin cannot be absolved. Until one day, the water levels in Fontaine will rise, and the sinful people will slowly be drowned. In the end, the people will all be dissolved into the waters, and only the Hydro Archon will remain, weeping on her throne. Only then will the sins of the people of Fontaine be washed away. That sounds pretty gloomy. Why are people in Fontaine born with sin? What is that supposed to 
supposed to mean? There are lots of guesses. Some say that the ancestors of Fontaine stole the power of the seas and stirred its wrath. Others say that the people of Fontaine never heeded the first Hydro Archon's mm. warnings and offended Celestia. But here in Fontaine, evidence is what matters. There hasn't been concrete evidence for any of these claims, so they can only be regarded as conjecture. If even the people in Fontaine don't know what sin they committed, wouldn't it be better just to ignore the prophecy completely? Why bother feeling guilty all the time? This kind of reminds me of how um of how that one uh, person from Conria was called the sinner back in the Caribbean Archon quest. That's exactly what the people did at first. But in the last few years, the water levels in Fontaine have actually started rising. But now the water is engulfing our memories, it won't be long before it engulfs us. Hmm. Many places have already been completely submerged, and now lie beneath the sea. Many people carry on with their lives as before and shrug it off as a natural phenomenon. But my family and I think that the people of Fontaine shouldn't ignore the possibility, which would end up sentencing them to death. We hope that at least the people who reside near the waterfront can move away before it's too late. So, we've started distributing magic pockets to them. As a magical item, these magic pockets have astonishing capacity. I'm sure they will come in handy when people are moving their belongings. Oh, Hyman gets it! It's like preparing for a rainy day! But this is more than a bit of rain. If the prophecy is true, is then is there no way to prevent the disaster? Hmm. Perhaps only absolute power could ever contend with such a catastrophe. <laughs> but who knows? We're just tiny specks in the grand scheme of things. Now, if you'd like to help, then please give these magic pockets to anyone nearby. Be sure to convince them to take it, regardless of what they say. Like what? Okay, okay. Actually, this kind of reminds me of Hermione's bag from Harry Potter for some reason. <laughs> yeah, because in, in one of the... I forgot which movie it was, but... There was one Harry Potter movie wherein Hermione had this... Had, she also had this same kind of bag wherein she can put a lot of things inside. Yeah, stuff like that. Okay, alright. It is time to distribute... And convince the people of the upcoming crisis. Let's start with you, sir. <laughs> What's this? Ah, so you also believe in the prophecy. <laughs> Keep it. I won't have any use for it. What? You mean you don't believe in the prophecy? No, no, I believe in the prophecy. But I also believe in another story. Hmm. The story says that people once lived in the ocean. They were one with the ocean and couldn't live apart from it. But as time wore on, people desired to live on land and developed blood vessels, encapsulating the sea within their bodies. Thus could people set foot on land. So, if you ask me, when the water rises and takes us all, it'll be like we're going home. Kind of reminds me of the Vidyadharas from Honkai Story. <laughs> yeah, because they return to the sea after they complete their reincarnation. All right, I'll take it. I guess I just feel that being dissolved into the water doesn't necessarily mean death. Okay, that's one person down, and then let's talk to you, sir. So you're the blonde traveler that everyone's been talking about. My apologies for not recognizing you earlier. Oh, a magic pocket? Seems you really thought of everything. I guess it's better to prepare for the worst and hope for the best. Thanks. Uh, please, 
also thank the magician on my behalf when you get the chance. I wasn't expecting that he was gonna take the bag, but yes, it's a win. <laughs> okay, third person. Wait, where is the third person? Swan Fury. Okay. Huh? <laughs> I don't want that thing. The way I see it, if the prophecy's true, it's still gonna be a long time before the water can cover everything. Life is all about living in the moment. What use is there in worrying about the future all the time? We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But um, I don't think you should be saying that when it comes to disaster risk reduction, ma'am. <laughs> you should still take it. You never know when it'll come in handy. Oh, all right, fine. But thanks. It's just that if I start moving, that means I've already given up on the life I have now. I'd really rather not. Okay, so only one person accepted our bag, I think. Okay, let's go talk to Lenny. Oh, you already handed out all of the magic pockets? Hm. That was fast. So, what did people have to say? I bet you heard some uh, interesting opinions. Many are quite stubborn. Yes, but that will change once disaster strikes. I know they'll change their minds, so it's only right to help them prepare. Is there anything else you need to do before we leave? Yes, one last thing. I have the magic pockets made by a workshop in the Court of Fontaine. Since we're out and about, I was thinking about bringing him some more materials. So, you want to collect materials? Just tell us what the materials look like and we'll help! Many hands make light work! Oh, that would be much appreciated. We'll need some Romaritime flowers. Maritime flowers. I remember seeing them near the waterfront on the east side of the harbor. I keep on forgetting that we get um, new resources every time we move to our new region. So yeah, I, I actually can't wait to see more of Fontaine's landscape. Okay, let me see. We haven't even been inside Fontaine yet. <laughs> We're still here at the port for some reason. Okay, wait a minute. Swan Fury. Oh, these flowers. It seems we have to use Hydro to collect for maritime flowers. Okay, I'm gonna switch my uh, Sancho out for a bit. Let me go use Yellen for this one. Oh, wow! Oh, the Fontaine party screen is so pretty. I've only seen the Sumeru Desert and Sumeru Forest once so far. So, yes. Let's go get ourselves wow. some answers. I really love what, they, what they've done to the party screen. Ah! Okay, so this kind of reminds me of how um, some flowers, some flowers need need the right element to be applied on. So, for example, back in Wonstad, we do need to apply animal to the dandelions, right? And then in in Azuma, we had to apply electro to the sakura petals. So yes, this is the Fontaine equivalent right here. And it's bubbling. <laughs> The color scheme kind of reminds me of Kokomi for some reason. Okay, let's go back there. He made quick work of that. I can tell you're an experienced traveler. I've also finished collecting a few here. Maybe next time you'll feel like helping too, Lynette. No way. I'm in power saving mode. Day. Otherwise, I fear I may not have any energy left for the performance at the Opera House. I relate to that so much. <sighs> Fine. Though the performance is still a long way off. Now that we're finished here, we should get ready to head back to the Court of Fontaine. So, we're 
were going to the Court of Fontaine before we head to the Opera House? Good. Paimon wants a tour of Fontaine's largest city and try... Wait, shh. Have you noticed that person over there? The young girl. Huh? What's wrong with her? Paimon didn't notice anything. <laughs> She's obviously a thief. Magicians and thieves practice similar methods. We divert attention, and a distracted audience is one that won't discover what you're really doing. Mm. Watch her movements carefully. Oh, he's right! Shh, keep your voice down. We need to think of a way to catch her, but it seems she's very alert. Perhaps we should split up. You two can ride the lift over there and wait up top. I bet that'll be her escape route if she tries to run. Understood. All right, let's go. A lot of things have already happened in the port alone. <laughs> okay, we're gonna ride the elevator there, so... Okay, let's see. Actually, we do have stairs here. Okay, so this one is the elevator. I love the design here. Not gonna lie, the Fontaine color scheme so far matches Karimush quite well. <laughs> I'm so glad I brought him out. <laughs> This is a very tall tower. Okay, are we there yet? Are we there yet? This kind of reminds me of how I first rode the, the elevator in the Sumeria Academia for the first time. Yeah. Which one is taller though? Oh! Let's go! This, this will be the first ever Statue of the Seven that will ever unlock in Fontaine. So, okay. Let me go take a picture of this before we unlock it. Okay. Let me see. Let me zoom it out for a bit. Okay. So this one right here is holding some kind of sword. I love how each Archon has a different design for their statues. And actually, all of them are holding different objects. Okay. She has long hair for some reason. Actually, you know what? I want to fly up there real quick. Let me see if I can scaramouche my way here. Alright. Let me see. Swan Fury. Oh! Okay, let me fly up again. I want to take a closer look. I'm actually wondering if this is Forina or the previous Hydra Archon. Okay, let's go unlock this thing. The world opens itself before those with noble hearts. And there we go, we unlocked the first part of Fontaine. Actually, it felt so weird to me that Fontaine is located here. <laughs> like, look at all this stretch of land for um, for both Liyue and Sumeru, and then suddenly we get this thin stretch of... Um, <laughs> thin stretch of land and sea here. Like, what... Yeah, that makes me wonder, what are they gonna place here? Because the space in between Fontaine and the others, it's so huge. Eh, did light just start flooding from that Statue of the Seven just now? That's so weird. Did anything like this ever happen before? It's normal for a Statue of the Seven to glow. A rush of water? It certainly is the nation of the Hydra Argon. 
even the statues of the seven are water fountains. Yeah, right. That light wasn't normal at all. You didn't feel uncomfortable at all? Huh? Water? The water is speaking to me. Like, Simon's gonna believe you. If you can crack jokes like that, you must be fine. Though, after it lit up like that, the air does feel a lot more humid. Maybe it's because of all that hydro energy that was released. Paimon heard that in Fontaine. If you can use elemental energy properly, you can swim. You can even swim underwater. Maybe you can even find sunken treasure. Paimon will leave the digging for treasure to you. Paimon will stand on the shore and wait for you. Paimon, you don't even stand. You fly. It'd be lonely going underwater alone. You could try doing something for once, Paimon. Wow, but but being in the water is scary. What if Paimon accidentally gets swept in a current and gets all turned around and dizzy, and then she won't be able to fly away no matter what? Just like before Paimon met you back in Monstead, then I'll fish you out again. Really? Then maybe Paimon can try going underwater with you. Hmm, you'd better not go back on your word. What even happened to Paimon under the water? Like, I, I don't think that answer has been... I don't think that question has been answered yet. Okay, so... We now have unlocked the swimming ability. Let's go. Fontaine's Blessing. A mysterious power that flows out from a statue to imbue you with the blessing of the transoceanic source water. Your progress will remain unhindered so long as you are moving through the lakes of Fontaine. Under the protection of the transoceanic source water, what you expend while moving underwater is not stamina, but aquatic stamina. It's stamina, but aquatic. So true. As such, when your aquatic stamina is expended, you will not drown. I am so glad that they didn't add um, drowning mechanics as well as oxygen mechanics. Yes. Because um, as far as what I've heard from um, the developers during the 4.0 special program, they they actually did not add any kind of um any kind of tedious stamina um mechanic like oxygen and stuff so that um we can actually uh, no swim underwater quite freely it's so yes very nice of them just to occupy silence okay let me go take a picture of this statue again now that we have the blue light right here Actually, you know what? I kind of forgot that we have Hydro Traveler now. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna resonate with Hydro for a bit. Okay, let me zoom this out. I love how this tree from Sumeru is. Um, I love how it's just there in the background. Yeah, because I actually finished the Cabaret of Good and Evil World Quest recently. Okay, I want to fly up here again just to see. Yeah. Nice. I really love the sword she's holding. Actually, with that in mind, it makes me wonder if Purina will also have a sword. Will also be a sword user if she becomes playable. Okay, let me see. Alright. Go to the top of the lift. So I still need to go higher. Okay, let's do this. Um, head to the... Wait. Oh, there's a Hydrophilus here. Okay, let's go. <gasps> it's a Melusine! We're gonna ride this, um... We're gonna ride this hydro chain thingy later, I think. Yes. Wait for the aquabus? Ah, it's the... This is the spot where Lenny wanted us to wait. And there's the thief. Time to make the arrest. Oh no! Did she notice us? She started running the other direction! What should we do? Should we chase her? 
Our job is to block this path. The rest is up to Lini. <sighs> You're right. She might also be trying to lure us away. Wait, but there's no sign of the thief. Nothing's happened for a while now. Paima wonders if Lenny caught the thief. Since there's no reason for us to stay here, let's go find Lenny. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Hello. We're gonna go down again. So yes. Quit following me. Oh wait. Oh never mind, they're here. <laughs> Are you sure that's all she took? You should check to make sure you're not missing anything else. N no, that was all. Oh, I can't thank you enough. I didn't notice a thing earlier. A anyway, I should be going now. Thanks again. Oh, were you returning with the thief had stolen? That's right. Pity I wasn't able to catch her. She distracted me by dropping the thing she stole on the ground. Mm. By the time I looked back, she was already gone. I saw the general direction she went, but Linny twisted his ankle, and I needed to make sure he was okay. Oh, did you get hurt, Linny? I'll be all right. It's just a twisted ankle, that's all. In fact, it's feeling better already. If you want to play at being a hero, at least try not to get hurt doing it. Imagine what would happen if you managed to derail our performance as a result. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Sorry, Lynette. <sighs> I have to admit that the thief was even more skilled than I had anticipated. But at least we were able to get the stolen items back, so it wasn't a complete failure. What a slippery little thief! Guess things turned out alright in the end, though. Lenny's initiative paid off! All right, let's put this little detour behind us. All right. We should go to the court of Fontaine. <laughs> Please let us go to the court for real, for real this time. <laughs> okay, let's go right the Aquabus to the court of Fontaine. All right. Squall Fury. Let's go. This is an aqua bus. It allows people to travel between several key locations around Fontaine. It's pretty convenient, but the ride can become a little dull after a while. The scenery is always the same. That's why it's better to travel with friends. I think this is the first time that we got an actual transportation system in a nation. So you mean it's still boring even when I'm riding with you? Uh, no, that's not what I meant. It's just that, uh... Well, you don't really talk that much. Besides, it doesn't really feel like a real trip when it's just the two of us. It's the same as being at home. <laughs> hmm. Whatever. Guess that's what it's like to be an older brother. I wonder if the traveler... Um, if, <laughs> I wonder if um, Linny and Lynette remind traveler about... Um, about her and her sibling. <laughs> yeah. It's about time for us to leave. Let's get on board. Oh, Charlotte. I actually don't know Charlotte. Because I wasn't oh, able me. to do the, the great what Lenny? they call this, 2.7 event. I 3.7 event. But yes, she was in that one TCG event a while back. Hello, I don't believe we've. And she has a cryo vision. I'm Charlotte, a reporter for the Steambird. Nice to meet you, from the Steambird, huh? We've often relied on your paper to promote our performances. It's an honor to meet you. Wait, could that be the legendary traveler who's been making headline after headline in their journey across Tibet? Oh, uh, I guess you could say that. Amazing! You recognize everybody almost immediately! <laughs> I wouldn't be much of a reporter if I didn't know who's who, would I? Wow, today must be my day! 
Who knew I would end up on the same boat as so many VIPs? Could my vision finally be showing me some favor? So, Charlotte, what do you usually report on? Well, when there isn't any breaking news, I mainly cover the trials at the Opera House. Oh. You can still manage to keep readers' attention as long as you tell things from a clever enough angle, even if it's the same old topics. For example, reporting on how a scammer once deceived vulnerable girls oh my into God. relationships, or how a financial criminal was once so poor that they ate a single piece of bread for five days. That would definitely get my attention. Oh, that's fine and all, but what I'm really after is exclusive, sensational news pieces that could shake the country. These smaller stories are a waste of my talents. Oh, I just remembered. I've been following a case lately. Well, a series of cases, actually. You mean the serial disappearances of young women case? That's right. These stories are the talk of the town right now, and it's probably the most mysterious case we've ever seen. If I'm the first with a draft ready to publish when the case is finally closed, <gasps> and it's the headline story in the Steambird... When that happens, I bet all the other reporters will shed tears of envy. I've already gathered all kinds of materials. I just can't wait for the truth to be revealed. So, what is the serial disappearances of young women case? You mean the culprit hasn't been found? That's right. The first missing girl case happened almost 20 years ago. Oh. And ever since, after a period of time, another girl disappears. What the cases have in common is that the girls are all of a similar age and that they've all vanished without a trace. That's kind of scary. But the scariest part is that to this day, none of the girls have ever been found. Many suspects have been arrested over the years in connection with this case, but shortly after each arrest, another disappearance would always happen. Then there must be more than one criminal at work. Yes, it's possible. But either way, I believe that every case has some precise truth behind it, waiting to be exposed. Yes, I agree. And at the very least, the family of those missing girls deserves some sort of explanation. I just imagined for a second what I would do if Lynette were to suddenly disappear. I'd pay any price to get her back, and Aww. then find a way to track down the culprit. Please don't imagine that, Lenny. You continue talking on the aquabus and af and before you know it, you're arriving at your destination. Hey, we're almost there! Look! Wow! Oh wait, the music! It's from the trailer. But it's a much more different version. Wow. This even feels more magnificent in game. You know what? It hasn't even sunk in yet that Montaigne is already here. <laughs> I was pretty much chill for for almost the whole day and then I remembered Oh yeah, right, it's Fontaine Day today <laughs> Yeah, I'm so glad it's finally here Well, I really enjoyed chatting with you Life should be full of pleasant little surprises like this Yeah, us as well The ride went by too quickly Oh, I have an interview to get to. I should get going before I'm late. Okay. Hyman hopes we can chat again soon, Charlotte. See ya! <laughs> Bye now. Oh, be sure to stop by and see me at the Steambird when you have time. What a tough job. Always running around and interviewing everyone. <sighs> well, where should we go now? If you don't mind, how about we stop by my home first? Besides, I still have all the materials we collected. Sure, we wouldn't mind at all. This city is so huge, Paimon wouldn't know where to start anyway. Oh, what is that thing? It 
kind of reminds me of the Akasha in in the Samara Academia's top floor. Wow. Everything is so white and blue here. <laughs> Quest completed. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, so this is still Act 1. Okay, okay. I thought Act 1 already ended. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yay. Let's go. So we're now on to the next part for Act 1. So it's called The City of Pains and Remembrance. After a brisk meeting with the Hydra Archon, you decide to, at Linnea's invitation, attend his and Lynette's premiere magic performance at the Opera House. Wow, this is such a fancy fountain. Wait. Let me see. Okay, Scaramouche, I'm gonna take a picture of you. <laughs> Scaramouche's first day in Fontaine, so true. Okay, let me see. Ya. There you go. Yeah, that should be fine, I think. You think I've got a sharp tongue? I just tell it like it is. Okay, if let's take out Scaramouche. It, maybe that's their problem. My gosh, it, it always feels good to to travel to another new nation. I just love how the ambience of each nation is just so different from one another. Okay. Oh my god, where do we start? Where do we start? So it's all the way here. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can uh, find this statue over here just so that we can see where we're going. Okay. Behold. Good luck to me. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Wow! Wait, Fremini! This is our current abode. Ah, Fremine, your home. Where did everyone else go? I have some new friends that I would like to introduce. Oh, they all just went out a moment ago. I see. Everyone is getting busier now that Father will be returning soon. I suppose that can't Father? be Father? Allow me to introduce you to my little brother, Fremine. He is a phenomenal diver. Uh, hello. Nice to meet you! Paimon is Paimon, and this is the Traveler! Oh, you sound very proud to have a diver as a brother, Linny. What a talented family. <laughs> uh, Linny, could you come here for a moment? Hmm? What is it, Fremine? Do you have something to tell me? It's alright, you go ahead. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I see. Is everything all right? Oh, it's nothing. We were just discussing a little housework. Sorry for the interruption. Oh, uh, before I forget, the traveler and I collected more materials to make magic pockets. Were you able to get any, Fremine? Yes, I went diving and gathered lots of materials. I was about to give them to you. That's our Fremine. Always quick with the underwater work. All right, I'll take these to the workshop. And it's raining. Oh my god. Actually, I think this is the first time that we saw... We saw... A city, a major city experience rain in the game. Mm, looks like rain. Wasn't it clear and sunny just a moment ago? Hmm. Fontaine's weather sure is weird. <laughs> I'm afraid that's just how it is here. It often rains on days where there are trials being held in the Opera House, but don't worry, it'll clear up soon enough. <sighs> hmm? What's wrong, Fremine? There's a legend about the rain that I tend to believe. 
It's said that a dragon of water once resided oh. in Fontaine. Though we don't know where the dragon went, every time it weeps, the skies will cloud up and pour out rain. When I was a child, my mother told me that if I wanted to go outside and play, I should yell toward the sky at the top of my lungs. Hydro Dragon! Hydro Dragon! Don't cry! Another one of the elemental dragons of Teyvat. If it's an elemental dragon, then having the power to make it rain wouldn't be very unusual. Hmm. Let Paimon try something. Hydro Dragon! Hydro Dragon! Don't cry! It's like the equivalent of Rain Rain Go, rain, rain, go Away. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be of any use. It is just a legend after all. You know, you might be a more popular magician if you understood the concept of romanticism. Or could at least play along. <laughs> Sorry. It might be because we've never met the Hydro Dragon. Perhaps it can't be comforted by the words of strangers. After some time, the rain stops. Hmm. It rained for longer than I suspected. Oh, it's already getting late. Was there something you needed to do, Linny? Yeah, some preparations for the show at the Opera House. I need to find a way to catch the last Aquabus of the day. On the day of the performance, just ride the Aquabus to the island of Araneus. I'll have Lynette meet you at the fountain in front of the Opera House. Sounds good. You go ahead, Linny. See you at the performance. Oh, uh, are you leaving now? What is it, Fremenet? I'm in a hurry. Oh, I get it. You feel nervous delivering the materials for the magic pockets, is that it? Perhaps we could trouble the traveler to help us take these materials to the Beaumont workshop and deliver them to the owner there? I'm afraid that Fremenet can be quite introverted. And the boss there tends to be pretty talkative. <laughs> Fremenet has always been a little afraid of her. No trouble at all! Don't worry, we're on the case! Sorry for the inconvenience. I'm quite useless when it comes to such tasks. I'll think of a way to make it up to you. Oh, no need, no need. This will be a walk in the park for us. Yeah, we us introverts got to stick together. <laughs> okay. Actually, I kind of want to talk to Femine for a bit. Thanks again, you two. I really can't deal with that lady. Wait, l actually, let me go get Lynette for a second here. I want to take a picture of the siblings. Okay, let's see. I think it's gonna take me a while to build Lynette. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As far as I remember, she does need some boss materials from the... from one of the bosses. Also, I really love Lynette's idol animation so much. Since I'm saving for Fossilers, I think I'm just gonna get Lenny from a rerun or something. Yeah, because actually I really, I really, really love his playstyle. <laughs> Uh, but unfortunately, I really can't pull for him right now. I'm guaranteed Fossilors. <laughs> it's time for a short rest. Also, Femini is on the second banner phase, right? Okay. Alright, let's go to Beamont Workshop. Okay. I really do hope that I'll find the statue real soon. <laughs> also, don't fear, welcome to the stream. Okay. I think the statue is somewhere up there for some reason. But for now, I'm gonna go here. Oh, 
Oh, hello there. New customers? Looking to buy, or do you need something made? Or perhaps you're just looking for a chat with me. Oh, no. We're just here to deliver some materials. Here they are. They're for making... Uh... What were they called again? <laughs> ah, these must be for magic pockets. I could tell right away. I've already made several orders worth now. Do you need to pay? No, no need. They've already prepaid several batches worth. Ah, when good. They told me what they'd be using them for. I even offered them a discount. But they insisted on paying the full amount, saying that I had a business to run. <laughs> it seems both their hearts and their pockets are made of gold. Wow. So, is Lenny actually loaded? Mm, I can't say for sure, but who knows? Maybe there's good money to be made being a magician in Fontaine. Hey, is this machine what you use to make stuff here? It looks really advanced. Why use your hands when a machine can do the work? It would be a waste not to use the latest technology. And wasting is a kind of crime. But where does a big machine like that get its power from? Ah, uh, well, it's a little complicated. I'm not sure I can put it in layman's terms for you. But basically, everything we usually use here in the city is powered by indemnidium. Ah, this one. It's a type of energy that's produced from trials. This got mentioned in the special program. Huh? How can trials produce energy? Well, I'm not completely sure of all the details myself. But basically... When a trial is in session, the Oratrice Mécanique d'Analyse Cardinale harvests people's belief in justice and converts it into energy to be used all around Fontaine. So that's what its other function is? Hmm. I might heard that the Oratrice was created by the Archon to make judgments. But... <sighs> Paimon still doesn't get it. How could something unreliable like people's beliefs be turned into a stable power source for these machines? Well, Venti and Naida both said the gods rely on belief to obtain said power. Oh, yeah! So that means the Hydro Archon relies on the machine to take the energy created by belief and turn it into power for all of Fontaine, right? Even though I've never heard anyone really put it that way before, it sounds like it makes sense. Besides Indemnidium, we have another type of energy called Numusia. It isn't produced by the power of the Archon, but it is unstable by nature. Even now, it still cannot be widely used by civilians. <laughs> I thought so that's a difference. You hard at work, but here you are chatting the day away. Since you're already talking, I'm sure you wouldn't mind a few words with me. Y you again? Didn't I already promise you that I'd have the more I owe to Conferee of Cabriere by next month? Why are you hounding me now? Yeah, but how do we know that you won't go running off by the end of this month? I want 50% today. Wait, no, 70%. Huh? You. Seems business isn't so great for the workshop. We've already finished our job and delivered the materials. Maybe now's a good time to leave? Sounds like a usual case of someone owing somebody else money. Hey, hold on. Oh! Before you go around trying to collect payments, why don't you settle oh. your own debts first? <gasps> I didn't expect to see him so soon here. If Confrere of Cabriere wants to poach clients from Northland Bank, that's fine. But I'm afraid you still owe the bank a hefty <laughs> sum of more. So why don't we work things out between us first, before you get back to your little conversation here. I love how this is such a callback to, to how a child um, collected debt back in Liyue. Ah! Uh. <laughs> You're from uh, Northland Bank, uh, but we said <laughs> we'll pay everything we owe next month. Why are you hounding me now? Uh, Traveler, Paimon, I didn't think I'd run into you here in Fontaine. <laughs> what are the chances? Chad be like, see you in Cisnaya, but then he shows up in Fontaine. <laughs> We're surprised to see you too. What are you doing here in Fontaine? You didn't want to stay in Cisnaya? We sure seem to have run into a lot of friends today. <laughs> Long story short, I've already been in Fontaine for some time now. And honestly, things have been pretty boring. But it seems that fate brought our paths together today. Not only will I have some good friends here now, but ones who always seem to find trouble. Either way you look at it, it seems things are going to get a lot more interesting now. 
Pretty sure we'd want to avoid anything that you'd find interesting. Besides, our trip here has gone pretty well so far. Right, Trevor? I don't mind a little excitement every now and then. <clears throat> uh, hey, you! Northland Bank boy! Aren't you forgetting something? Don't interrupt. It's not often I run into the <laughs> like this. But why don't you wait for me over there for a while? <laughs> this ain't about you. Uh, you kidding? Aren't you the one looking for us? You really expect us to sit and twiddle our thumbs while you catch up with your friends? Listen to me, boy. If you want your Mora, fine. Why don't you come and take it? Hey, I just said not to interrupt. Oh, by the way, Traveler, <laughs> the last time I took Tonya and Tuser ice fishing, Tuser said... Hey, that's way over the line. All right, boys, let's see who has to pay up now. Uh, can you at least let me finish one sentence? Fine. Though the bank told me not to get rough with our clients, you're the ones who started it. This is an act of self-defense. <laughs> you two will have to be the witnesses, is okay? <laughs> oh, go ahead, they're all yours. I'm sure this won't take long. With the way the justice system works here in Fontaine, we gotta be witnesses. Oh, trial trial! Okay then, okay. All right, let's do this and then this. Let your guard down. No time to cap. I don't think we've used Child in a Trial for quite some time. The last time we used him was during the the Child Story quest, I think. Oh, what's your deal, Brad? How are you so strong if you're just a staffer from Snezhnaya's Northland Bank? Wait, don't tell me you're. Oh, now you notice. It's a little late, don't you think? Just make sure you understand that you don't mess with Northland Bank. Got it? Oh. Uh, huh? Oh, shoot. Now's my chance. And he got knocked down. <laughs> huh. That was weird. What just happened? I'm not sure. It's as if I suddenly lost control of my hydro powers mm. when I needed them. Maybe there's something wrong with my vision? Strange. How could that happen? First time Paimon's ever heard of someone losing control of their vision. This kind of reminds me of how we don't actually have a vision story for Child's Hydro Vision yet. Never mind. It doesn't matter. If I want to stay sharp, I shouldn't be relying too much on my vision anyway. Besides, I always have my delusion in case I need it. It better not use delusion too often. So what are you doing in Fontaine, child? I don't see its work for Northland Bank. Well, I guess it's because I've been in a bad mood lately. Huh? What kind of reason is that? Wait, since when do you feel down about anything? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I still have a lot to learn about myself. But recently... There seems to be some sort of restless power stirring inside of me. And I don't know why, but every now and then I feel like I'm in a terrible mood. Hmm. Maybe you losing control of your vision just now is connected with that power you're feeling inside. Hmm. That is a possibility. So about this power, do you have any idea where it came from? I can't remember if I ever mentioned it before. But when I was 14, oh my god, wait! I fell into some unknown abyss. It's finally mentioning that abyss story. It was during that time I learned nearly all of my abilities. The one who took me under her wing and taught me <gasps> oh, was named Skirk. She finally got mentioned. She was always quiet and very mysterious. Nobody knew where she came from or what she had been through, and she was always very strict when teaching me combat techniques. One time, I asked her why she was willing to take me on as an apprentice. From what I could make of her answer, it was... Because I had awakened it, and traces, traces of, of it, it remained on me. She said that all my combat training would be useful in the future. I had awakened it, and traces of it remained on me. Hmm. But, what is it? 
What did you awaken? She never explained that. But my guess is that it's related to a dream I saw when I had just fallen into that abyss. In my dream, I was in the deepest depths of the sea, and the boundless seabed was all around me. But in front of me appeared a whale that was so massive, oh. I felt like I couldn't breathe. A whale? Oh, that sounds familiar! When we fought against you before, you summoned a huge whale that seemed to leap at us. Is that the one? <laughs> That's just an abstract form of a whale that I create using my elemental powers. It takes that shape because the scene I dreamt of the whale has always been stuck in my mind. Ah. I'll never forget it. So you used the whale as inspiration for one of your moves? Huh. Seems a little twisted to Paimon. I'm actually really glad that the chat is confirming his Hydra abilities right here. <laughs> yeah, because um, actually, if we take a look at all the Hydra characters that we've had so far, when it comes to the playable characters, that is, um, actually, Chad has, surprisingly, a lot of Hydra abilities, including the power to, to summon a, <laughs> to summon a Hydra whale, and as well as create weapons made out of water. And yeah, and actually he can even turn into water. Oh, so yeah, I it really makes me wonder why um why a child's control over Hydra is so advanced for some reason. I think I think um aside from child, Mona also has very advanced control over Hydra. I mean not only with her hydromancy, but also um we we do know that in her alternate sprint she can turn herself into water. And she can also summon um, a Hydro Dome. Because back in Unreconciled Stars, when she tried to teleport Fischl and, and, um, and Traveler away from Scaramouche, she had to summon a Hydro Dome first to conceal them before teleporting them out of the way. And then, um, actually that reminds me, Chad, actually, Chad can also actually summon a Hydro, a Hydro Dome in his boss form. Yeah, so you know that part when he shifts into his electro delusion form? Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> yes, yes. Also, Sanko Bobo, welcome to the stream. Hi, I was afraid for a second. I thought it's Act 2 when I'm here. <laughs> yeah, I'm still in Act 1. I, I just met Child right now. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> it's very possible that the power inside you is connected to your incident in the abyss. So, why don't you just go ask your master? Maybe she knows the answer. You make it sound so easy. Ever since the incident I experienced there, I've never stopped searching for Master Skirk and that unknown abyss. Oh, Dami Corp, thank you for the raid. Hello. Hello, raiders. Hello, hello. Hi, I'm currently doing the the Archon Quest Act 1 for Fontaine right now in Genshin. So yes, I just met Child right now. <laughs> In game, yes, yes. Okay, actually, let me go give you a shout out real quick. Okay, let me see. Let me type that shout out, Zami Carp. Okay, I hope I got that right. There we go. There we go. Yay! Shout out has been given. <laughs> actually, okay, let me go introduce myself very, very quickly. So yeah, hello everyone. I'm Celesti. I go by the username Celestia Bis, and I am I am a big Genshin lore enthusiast, and also I play Honkai Star Rail too at times. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Since Fontaine just came out today, it's the latest region for um for Genshin by the way. I'm I'm actually this is this is actually my first time going through the Fontaine Archon quest. So yeah, it has been really interesting so far. <laughs> yes. It feels so good to finally witness Fontaine in all its glory and pain. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Also, thank you for the follow. Ishi Ishi's VIP and um Doki Shirin. Yes. Yeah, make yourselves comfy here. <laughs> this is gonna be we're gonna be here for a while actually. <laughs> I'll try my best to see whether or not I can finish Act 1 for today. But I think we'll finish it today. Yeah. Trust. <laughs> yes. Okay. Alright, let's now proceed to the child dialogue right here. 
But it's been years now, and I've still found nothing. There isn't even a trace of the place where I remember falling into the abyss. Oh, it sounds like some kind of ghost story. Yeah, I'm out of leads at this point, but there's nothing more I can do. It seems that strange encounters in this world tend to be elusive like that. Oh, seems the time really flies when I'm talking with you. I just remembered I have somewhere else I need to be, so I should get going. What? More work for the Northland Bank? And no, it's more of a personal appointment. Lately, I've been sparring oh. with some of Fontaine's official champion duelists whenever I'm feeling bored. I really want to see Child and Glorine fight at some point. Official champion duelists? You mean it's their job to duel? Yep. In Fontaine, before a criminal goes to court, they're given one chance to defend their honor by requesting oh. a duel with an official champion duelist. The champion duelists are all powerful fighters selected from among the nation's best. And the duel itself is a no-holds-barred fight with no specified stopping point. But what if the person accused is, um, what if they're not a fighter? So engaging in that such a duel is regarded difficult. as a symbol of defending your honor. If a criminal manages to win the duel, they'll be acquitted. Mm. But if they lose, they'll have no choice but to stand trial. And the worst case scenario is that you're simply killed in the duel. Oh, well. Though it's rumored that Fontaine has a death penalty. From what I can tell, no one has ever been officially sentenced to death. So really, the only people who opt to duel are those who have suffered a grave injustice in being accused, hmm? or those who greatly value their honor. Otherwise, why gamble with your life? So, do many people actually get out of their trials by winning the duel? Apparently, it's exceedingly rare for anyone to actually win. Fontaine probably enacted this system as a way to show that the nation respects the honor of its citizens. Besides, none of the champion duelists are to be trifled with. Which is exactly why I was itching to face them as soon as I got to Fontaine. Apparently, the one I'm meeting today, Clorend, oh, is the okay. strongest of the champion duelists. <laughs> Confirmed. I've been asking her for some time before she finally agreed to face me today. Well, that's child for ya. Hmm. Paimon feels like we heard that name somewhere before. Clorend. When we met the Hydra Archon. Oh, before I forget. I want you to have this. Oh! The Hydra Vision. Huh? Your... Vision? You're seriously just giving it away? I'm just worried that it could become uncontrollable again. I'd be pretty upset if it got in the way of my duel. So, I think I'll be better off without it for now. Besides, I just need you to hold on to it for a short while. I'll come retrieve it when I have some time later. But what if we never give it back? Hyman knows what you're up to. I'm not jinxing. <laughs> I'm not jinxing, by the way. <laughs> Zami, that's why he has no vision on the taser. Yeah, actually, at first, I didn't notice that he didn't have a vision there. But but yeah, I actually just found that out when other people pointed it out. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever gave you that idea? I'll be in touch later. <laughs> I'm kind of worried for a child, though. <laughs> that sneaky guy. He said he's been feeling down lately, but he seemed the same as ever to Paimon. <sighs> well, since we don't have much to do for now, we might as well walk around and see the city before Lenny's performance. Other Paimon's enthusiastic leadership you walk all around the court of Fontaine. <laughs> Reporter who was barely around for most of the story was the murderer all along. Hey, don't blurt it out, Paimon. Uh, sorry, Paimon was just surprised. That's all. <sighs> Paimon never saw that twist coming. The murder mystery novels here are amazing. Never thought I'd see the day when Paimon would enjoy reading. <laughs> the books here in Fontaine are a lot different than the light novels you see from Yai Publishing House. Both have their merits, but. Paimon thinks this style of novels are more... Well, novel. It's so exciting to reach the moment when the mystery is uncovered, especially in the one Paimon was just reading. You should buy a copy and read it too. You already spoiled who the murderer is. Oh, sorry about that. Paimon will be more careful next time. Uh, hey. Shouldn't we be heading 
to the Opera House to see Linny's performance soon? It's almost time for the show to start, so we should get going. Linny said that the Opera House is on Aranias, so let's go ride the Aquabus! Ah! Right. Okay. Let me see. I really hope that I'll reach this statue real soon. <laughs> I want to see the rest of the area. Okay, okay. But before I ride the aquabus once again, I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break for a second because I really need one right now. So yeah, for the meantime, while waiting, um, please don't forget to drink water, grab a snack if you have to. Also, go to the bathroom if you have to and check your posture. Your self-care matters too. I'll be back in a bit and I'll be playing some chill background music to help you with your waiting time. Yes, please stay tuned if you can. I'll be back in a bit.
Okay, I'm back from my bathroom break. Let's go! Yay! Okay, before I forget, let me go plug in my socials real quick. <laughs> yeah, to anyone who is new here, th these are actually my socials. So, I have a YouTube wherein I post all of my VODs for, for both Tom Genshin and Honkai Star Rail. And I also have a Twitter wherein I usually hang out. I also have a Tumblr. It's inactive, but it's there. <laughs> And yeah, speaking of YouTube, I actually have separate playlists for both Genshin and Honkai Star Rail. So yeah, here is uh, my playlist for the Genshin VODs. So that would be exclamation point Genshin VODs. And then here's the command for the Honkai Star Rail VODs playlist. Exclamation point HSR VODs. You may type any of these commands in chat. Yes, in case you want to see more of my stuff. And yeah, actually, at the moment, I'm currently streaming um, three, three to four times a week. But however, I think um, starting from this point forward, my streams are going to be uh, quite irregular. <laughs> since I'm going to be I'm going to be really busy in the next several months, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I think um, when it comes to the streams for this week, I'm going to stream again tomorrow on august 17 at 10 p.m gmt plus 8 yeah that's my usual time actually and um i'm not really sure yet if i'm gonna stream on friday because i i do need to sleep early but but if ever if ever i might stream uh, Hon the honkai star rail special program for 1.3 maybe just a big maybe <laughs> yes yes Okay, I think that would be it for the plugins. We can now proceed to the next part of the Archon quest. Let's go. Okay, so we're now gonna ride the Aqua Bus. I'm just gonna try to find out where it is. Okay. I really love the music here. Oh my god. Like, it's so magical and eerie at the same time. We have a waypoint right here. Before I forget. And wait, oh, wait. Is that Steambird? Wait a minute. Ah, the reputation system is right here. <gasps> Sir Arthur, <laughs> the Steambird. Oh, this is so cute. This is so cute. Nice to see you, Sir Arthur. <laughs> Susan, hey, you're surprisingly live. Yeah, I know, right? Welcome to the stream, Susan. Okay. By the way, to those who just tuned in, um, once again, friendly reminder, please do not share any kind of spoiler. Because if you share spoilers, you will be bonked by Nouvellet. Yeah, you will be bonked by his gavel. <laughs> <laughs> Just a friendly reminder for you all. Yes, yes. <laughs> Sir Arthur is so cute. I want to keep him. I actually I actually wasn't expecting that he's going to be a full-on mascot here. I thought he's just a logo. <laughs> Wait. Let me see if this one has a voice or something. Extra, extra, the much awaited Great Magician's title fantasy will soon be held at the Opera Epic List. The Great Magician Lin himself will take the stage and bring forth miracles on the border of truth and trickery once more. <laughs> so true, Sir Arthur and the Teapot Twin. Lady Farina, Monsieur Nobilet, and many other notables shall grace this most grand occasion with their presence. Beep boop, would you like to know more? Subscribe to the Steam Bird today. <laughs> okay. Alright, so I'm gonna talk to her real quick just to unlock the reputation system. How were you talking to me? Sorry, I didn't see you there. Are you here to accept a commission regarding Tales of Humanity? That sounds like humans of New York for some reason. <laughs> Tell me about Tales of Humanity. One of the primary reasons we had for establishing our newspaper was to ensure that information flows and that everyone can understand what's happening around them. Slowly, we moved to not only attempting to let readers know, but to also let them express themselves. Thus, Tales of Humanity was born. Everyone can write into this column and similarly, everyone can read it. 
As for the result, well, you've seen it, haven't you? Our friends are practically drowning in all manner of content. But that's not a bad thing. In my experience, listeners also need some light reading to go with their explosive news. Additionally, being able to help our readers does our reputation good. In other words, we'll be troubling you for somewhat further. Fret not, you will find our payment quite suitable. Okay, I don't think we have unlocked it yet, so... Maybe, uh, maybe once we go further down in the Archon quest, we might be able to unlock this reputation system here. Actually, can I go inside? Oh, too bad! They wanna go inside! Oh well, that's okay, that's okay. Okay, alright. We're gonna go back to our Aquabus finding. Okay, let's see. Oh, what's this one? <laughs> too slow. I'm gonna get so distracted by all the shops here. They're all so good. Okay. I wonder if I can fly there. The wind rises. Once again. In case of <laughs> When in doubt, just use Scaramouche. So true. Okay. <laughs> Fury. Why on earth am I even advertising Scaramouche? The, his banner, his rerun banner just ended. Okay. Actually, even using Kazuha is fine. Yeah. I, I actually love how a lot of animal characters so far, they actually have such high mobility. Like, for example, Scaramouche right here, and then Kazuha, and even Shao has a high mobility. And then even Lynette ha also has that same dash mechanic as Yelan. Oh, I have a chest here! Wait, 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 wait. Okay, let me go grab that one. Wait, Zamikarp, wait, is he the one in the, on the GAA before? Wait, I'm actually not sure. Was there an Arthur NPC? I actually couldn't remember. Hmm. Unnecessary. Oh, Hydro Sigil. All right, with a new nation comes a a new <laughs> sigil together. A sigil that serves as a sign of recognition from the waters and fountain. Offer it to the fountain of Lucin to receive the rewards from the springs. Oh, okay. I think we haven't seen that fountain yet. So maybe that could be a Fontaine's version of the Sumeru Dream Tree. Because in Sumeru, we do have to offer Dendro Sigils to the Dream Tree there. Yes. Child's Vision. It appears as if Child lost control of the elemental power within it before. The vision has lost its glow now that its owner has left it behind. <laughs> Okay, let me see. The wind rises. I can't believe there are a lot of high areas here. Am I close enough to the the statue? I don't think I'm close enough to the statue. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. All right. So I need. There should be an elevator somewhere or something. Swan fury. Okay, let me in! Let me in! Let me in! Welcome to the court of oh, Draco, there is an Arthur NPC on Mon. Oh, really? I kind of want to find that Arthur NPC at some point. <laughs> Welcome to the Akuba system. This station serves three lines. Passenger passengers destined for Romari Time Harbor should take the Clement. Okay, there. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna go there now. All right, nice. <laughs> the door just opened. Okay, so I'm gonna take the fourth floor then. I was supposed to read the entire bulletin board there, but the elevator doors just opened, so I gotta take my chances. <laughs> okay, I think the statue. Okay, this is the statue. Let's go. Okay. All right. Nice. The world opens itself before those with noble hearts. 
Bam! Wow! That's a huge area. <laughs> Whoa. I wonder what's going on with this area right here. It's the only one left unlocked. Left locked, I think. Oh my god. This is such a complicated city layout. I think I'm gonna get lost here. <laughs> I remember back when Samira just got really just got released. Um, I actually found it really hard to find my way through Samira City because for some reason the layout was so confusing for me. And then I got used to it eventually, but sometimes I still get lost. And now this is a whole new city altogether, so <laughs> this is gonna take me some time to get used to. But wow, oh my god, I can't believe we're here actually. Actually, wait a minute. I actually forgot to to um to resonate with Hydro here. Okay, I kind of want to see what Hydro still Traveler does. Ahead. But I do think that I'm gonna be sticking to Dendro Traveler for a long time because I'm much more used to it. Okay, let me see. Resonate with Hydro. Let's just go test this out for a bit. Land of Fair Springs. Actually, the light blue fits her outfit so well. Now that I think about it. Okay, so this one is the skill. <laughs> pew 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 pew. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's a melusine. I want to see more melusine. Okay, what happens if I just press the skill? Water jet! Okay, I think I find the hold version more entertaining. Okay, let me see that again. Pew pew pew. I wonder how far the hydro bullets go. Wait a minute. I love how this dog is wearing a, an entire outfit right here. Hello! Oh my god, wait. Oh my god, the eyes. <laughs> it's so scary. Okay, I am looking away. The dog was cute, except for its eyes. The eyes look so ominous for some reason. Okay, this kind of feels satisfying to do. <laughs> Okay, actually I forgot to heal myself. Okay, let me do that. Alright, nice. Okay, let's try to find the aqua bus again. Now that we're here. Okay, it should be here. Actually, I, I can take the lift though. The wind rises. Let me go to the third floor. Navi align. Yeah, actually, I'm really wondering when we're gonna meet Navia. Wait for the Aquabus. After a while. Okay. Let me see. I think you can already ride this thing. On, Fury. Hello. How do you do? When does the. Immediately. <laughs> Can you sit down here? Let's go! Welcome to the Navia line. I am Elfan. Oh, it's voiced. The boat will be departing imminently. Please do not stick your head, hands, or other body parts outside the boat. The Aquabus operator is not responsible <laughs> for any accidents or injuries resulting from doing so. Also, please remember to buy the Steambird. Though I can't <laughs> read it myself. <laughs> Gotta love that plugin for the Steambird right the there. The destination of the current tour is Erinias. Points of interest worth visiting include the Fountain of Lucene and ah. the The Hydro Sigil area. If you area. Left in the direction we are currently traveling, you will 
see the famous Fontaine Research Institute up in the sky. Up in the sky? An experiment gone wrong turned new sightseeing opportunity. Human ingenuity truly is a wondrous thing. You mean those cubes over there? Wait. Also, there's a tower over there. Oh my god, I can't wait. Whoa! What is that huge tower over there? Oh! I think it's gonna be so fun taking pictures while, while riding on the aquabus. Ghostar is so so true. <laughs> you as you disembark. Even though I will take any forgotten items to the lost and found, the paperwork is rather annoying as Melazine hands are not suitable for grasping pens. Aww. Please be careful when disembarking. It has been my honor to be your tour guide this trip. Thank you. I kind of missed Pom Pom. <laughs> Oh. Okay, can I disembark now? Welcome to Fontaine! There seems to be a harvestable... What's that mark called? Okay, go to the Fountain Plaza in front of the Opera House. Okay, let's see. Uh... Okay, so looks like we're gonna travel... Oh, that's kind of far. But yeah, we're almost there. Oh, so... Ah... Huh. So, the opera is all the way out here. It's not in the main city. All this time, I thought it, it was gonna be in the main city, but... Ooh, interesting. Okay. Let me go switch my... Uh, the main out for a bit. Okay, we might run into some enemies along I the way. For vacation. So it's best to be prepared. Okay, all right. This is gonna be a long journey, everyone. Okay, Hydroculus. Let's go. Wait, what is this? Enter. Oh. Oh, that is so convenient. Oh wait, we're going all the way. I thought we're gonna... <laughs> I thought we're gonna be transported all the way to the city or... To the opera or something. Anyways, that's okay. Oh my god. This is such a view. Wow. There's no need to exchange pleasantries. It's rather pathetic to force a con conversation... Just to occupy silence. Oh my god. We're approaching the court, you all. Oh my god. I wonder what this looks like at night. Oh wow! Oh, look at that ocean. Whoa. I'm guessing this might be the... Underwater exploration stuff, right? This is swimmable? Oh my god. I kinda wanna dive <laughs> into that. <laughs> Wait. Oh my god. Everything just looks so advanced. Oh my god. Okay. Swan Fury. I do have a chest there though, so okay. It looks like I'm gonna get that real quick. Oh, actually there are some puzzles here. Oh never mind, I don't think they're enemies. It's a puzzle. Oh! Okay, hydro slimes. Gameplay tutorial. Water volume. Oh, we're gonna use Hydro Traveler for this one. Water volume detection crystals. This mystical crystal. This mystical crystal construct seems to have originally been designed to, to test the dampness of its surroundings, but it seems that it can only detect its own dampness and react accordingly. In situations where it is continually affected by hydro, maybe something nice and, and unexpected might occur. 
Okay, <gasps> let me go defeat them real quick. I see everything. Share my knowledge. Oh, battle music. Wait. Stars. Quick follow me. Stars shine for me. Wretched vermin. Behold. Oh, that sounds interesting. Everyone hold hands. Okay, let's take one. Okay, then another. The wind rises upon the gale. Cry louder! Cry louder! I see everything. Stars shine for me, not now. There are a lot of pillagers here for some reason. <laughs> I think this is the third wave or something. Okay, there we go. Ah, so we just need to defeat enemies or something. Wait, actually, let me go. Uh, Okay, so it just needs to be applied with Hydro, I think. Okay. So, let me go try that out for the other puzzles too. Just to see. Oh my god. I love this flower so much. Actually, I haven't taken a picture of Kokomi here yet with these flowers. So let me go do that real quick. Okay, where's my Kokomi team? Okay, I think I should take this one instead. Okay, there we go. So pretty! Okay, let me see. I actually cannot wait to see Kokomi swim underwater once I get to explore the underwater areas. Okay, I think I need to get my uh, Hydro Traveler for a bit because the Hydro application needs to be continuous. So, oh my god, it looks so good with the Fontaine screen right here. Oh my god. Let me try out Hydro Traveler. Still a long road ahead. Okay, let's try this out. The cooldown is kind of long, I think. Wait a minute. Ah! Yeah, it fades. It fades out really quickly. Hmm. I think I'll just solve this some other time. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna take some getting used to. Okay. All right. Let's see. Go to the Fountain Plaza. Wait, what's this? Oh, it's so cute!
Okay. I think we're almost there. Bless us with a bright and healthy child. We pray. I don't know why you always feel the need to ask so much. I'll be happy as long as our child is healthy and lives a peaceful life. <laughs> I guess if there are, kid, then there's no doubt they'll turn out smart. Maybe this is one of the customs in Fontaine. There sure are a lot of couples here. Vashe. Wait a minute. What's wrong? Vashe. Vashe. Did you just say something, Paimon? No, Paimon didn't say anything. Are you hearing things? His voice was that just now. Welcome to the Fountain of Lucene. All the water flowing through Fontaine converges here. It's customary for newlyweds to come here and wish for children. Ah! Oh, Annette! You scared Paimon! Why did you get here? Hmm... When he asked me to wait here for you, remember? Ah, right. By the way, Lynette, I seem to hear a faint voice just now. What do you mean? There are a lot of people here right now. It seemed as if the voice was coming from the fountain. <gasps> Paimon, are you? Besides, it's the middle of the day. It's not the time for eerie things. Hmm, I see. I might be able to tell you something that could help explain the voice you heard. In fact, you might not be imagining things at all. I suspect that what you heard is a result of your hypersensitivity to the hydro element. Others in my family have had similar experiences. Hmm. It's because of her sensitivity to the hydro element? But what would hearing a voice have to do with elemental power? When do you cry, Paimon? Wait, what? What does that have to do with anything? Just answer me. When do you cry? Uh, when Paimon's really sad? Oh, and when Paimon's super happy. Oh, and also when Paimon's really, really scared. Then you should understand that tears contain your most intense ah. emotions. Like I just mentioned, the Fountain of Lucene is where all the flowing water in Fontaine converges. Even the tears that fall to the ground will eventually gather here. So maybe what you heard was the intense emotion coming from someone's tears. Huh, that's an interesting explanation. So what did the voice say? Seem to be calling out someone's name. Huh. If you were hearing their emotions, then Paimon wonders what happened to them. Rather than worrying about them, we should worry about my brother first. Don't let that calm look of his fool you. He tends to get pretty nervous just before a performance. So chatting with Linny might help him relax a little before he goes on stage. Oh, right. That makes sense. Let's go in and see Linny. Okay, we're now gonna go inside the opera. I was supposed to say something about <laughs> about um about all the hydro about all the water converging here. Oh offerings to the fountain of Lucene. Offer the hydro sigils so you obtain Okay. Let me see. I'm assuming this also has levels. You can throw the Hydra seashells you obtain across Fontaine into the Fountain of Lucene outside the opera to raise its level and obtain valuable rewards. Okay, we're now in level zero. How many levels does this have? Okay. For now, it has... Oh. It's level 50 all over again. 
<laughs> it will take us a long time, I think. Okay. Okay, let me see. How do I get there? Oh wait, I should unlock the waypoint here. Before anything else. I might forget. Okay. So we have this viewpoint right here. Erinya's whirling dance added to the archive. <laughs> Too slow. Wow. I can't believe I'm finally seeing the opera in game now. Okay, let's take out Scaramouche. I'm not sure if the screenshot is centered, but that's okay. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Alright, let's enter. The wind rises. Oh my god, I'm finally here. I can't believe this. Oh my gosh. Okay. Actually, before anything else, let me just put back Leila here. Can't sleep? I don't think we'll fight inside the opera, alright? Nobody tell me the answer. Nobody tell me the answer. Swan Fury. Don't tell me anything. Let me be surprised. <laughs> okay, let's enter. I hope we can enter this anytime. Yeah, we're finally inside, I think. Oh, this is just the lobby. <laughs> Traveler in Paimon, good to see you. I knew you two would come. Are you kidding? We want to miss it for the world. We've been looking forward to it. <laughs> I can tell, judging by how early you've arrived. But you're actually right on time. The audience still hasn't started entering the venue yet, which means now is the perfect chance for us to take you to the best seats in the house. Wait just a moment. I'll fetch the tickets. Let's go VIP seats. I don't think I've ever been to a front row or something. The Opera House has assigned seating, so you always have to make reservations. I've already reserved your seats, and here are your tickets. Ooh, front row seats! Thanks, Linny! Don't mention it. There's no need to keep thanking me. Hey, Lenny, could you come over here and take a look at this? Oh, I'll be right there. Seems there's an issue with the stage props over there. That's Cal, my assistant, calling me. I'll go lend him a hand. Let's get busy. Yeah, we'll just go to our seats. You go ahead, Lenny. Okay, go to the seats in the arrange. Oh my god. I wonder when we're gonna get the Fontaine team Serenity Pot. <laughs> I'm loving the furniture already. Oh my god. Okay. Actually, wait. I really can't believe this, but Scaramouche matches the furniture so well. Okay. Alright, let me see. I think this should be good. Oh my god. Relax. <laughs> Is Scaramouche the foreshadowing for the Fontaine color scheme? <laughs> oh my god, this hat matches the carpet so well. It's so cool. Okay. Uh, I think I should just... Oh! Actually, wait. What does the ceiling look like? Ah... This is so fancy. Oh my god. The lobby is already fancy. I really can't wait to see how much fancier the interior will be. 
Oh my god. My gallery is gonna be so full of screenshots once again. Actually, just to share with you. Um, actually, I I do have a tendency to to transfer my my Genshin There's screenshots no in a backup folder in because um Even because if they pile up forever. in your Genshin folder, it's gonna take up a lot of space. So yeah. <laughs> and speaking of space, I have to admit that I actually struggled with pre-installing Fontaine at first. Because um, I actually uh, did not have enough space to pre-install it at first. Yeah, because I actually, I actually only have two games in my PC, and both of them are in in my SSD. And um, yeah, that would be Genshin and Honkai Star Rail. And since I did not have enough space to pre-install Fontaine, I had to transfer Honkai Star Rail to to H8. To the to my um HDD, yes. Oh my God, I really hope everyone's storage spaces are okay. I think a lot of us struggle with um with pre-installing Fonte. <laughs> oh my God, the chairs are so fancy. Yay! I can sit in the middle. Finally. Because a lot of couches in game do not let me sit on the middle. I don't know, maybe they're just built that way. Oh my god, Skyrim is looking really fancy tonight. Okay. Okay, let me see. Another picture right here. Okay, all right. Let's go up the. <laughs> let's go up the stairs for real, for real. Oh my god! Oh, look at that blue carpet over there. Okay, sorry. I have to take another picture. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is a big moment, y'all. Oh my god! It really feels nice touring a new area all over again. Okay, alright, for you. We're gonna go up. We're gonna go up. I'm not gonna get distracted anymore. <laughs> okay, let's see. Whoa! Whoa! And this is just the top floor! Oh my god. Oh my god. It's real. I can finally see it with my own two eyes. Oh my god. We're finally here. <laughs> Shocks! And there's the orgies over there. Oh my god. Okay, let me see. Are there any upper levels? I don't see any stairs anymore. There should be a balcony somewhere, right? Oh my god. This is so fancy. Okay. Let me see. Okay, I, I want to get closer to the aura trees there, so let me see. Oh my god, there are a lot of seats! Oh my god! Whoa! <gasps> Wait, Nouvellet! I see Nouvellet! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay. This feels like an entire cinema almost. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it feels like 
my god, cinema! Oh my god, okay. And that chair over there must be a Nubulet's chair. Okay, I will I will pretend I did not see Nubulet. I wanna go up to the aura trees. I am so sorry, Nubulet. I will be ignoring you for a bit. I would like to take some more pictures. I hope the I hope the quest allows me. Okay, let's see. Maybe if we go another way, we can avoid his gaze or something. Okay, nice, we can go up here. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Oh my god, the villain. Oh my god. This stage is so big. I really could not imagine having a court trial here. Oh my... Oh! This one must be Fosalor's chair. I hope I can get up there. Oh my god. Okay, let me zoom up. Oh. Oh my god. God. And then this one is the aura trees. Okay. I'm really wondering if, if this machine is gonna be disabled or destroyed at some point. Because I don't personally, I don't think Fontaine is gonna last long with this kind of energy system. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. It happened once with the Akasha. Okay, let me see. Squall and Fury. Can I investigate this? Nope. Okay. Oh my god. I really can't believe I'm looking at this now. There's no need to exchange pleasant. It's rather There's just something about this opera. Like, silence. It looks so magnificent. But at the same time, it looks so scary. Oh my god. Okay. I uh, want to see if I can climb up there. I'm going to try to find a way. Sorry, Nubulet. I'm going to ignore you for a bit. Again. Okay. Let me try with this balcony over here. Please let me in. Let me... Oh, it's not climbable. It's not climbable. No, I wanna go there. I wanna go there. Okay, we'll figure it out at some point. All right. Actually, can I take a screenshot of Nubilet from in front? I wanna see him. Too slow. Yeah. Okay. I know will Oh shoot! Oh god, I moved in too close. Anyways, it's okay, it's okay. Oh, these should be our seats. Come on, let's sit down. Uh... Awkward. <laughs> I love how his name is also in question marks, like... <laughs> well, because um, a few days ago, was it a few days ago actually? Nubilet just got revealed in um in all of Hoyaverse's social media platforms and... And um, as we know, both of his um... Both of his... Cons actually, his constellation and vision, they're both in question mark form. Like, um, like sure, it was indicated that he is using hydro but at the same time 
Because supposed to be when you when you're looking at character introductions, it's supposed to be like for example, vision, vision, insert element here. However, however, instead of the word vision, what we got was question marks. So yeah, it kind of implies that I'm of course I I don't think he's the archon. <laughs> Post Lars is already the archon, but. He, he could be uh, some kind of um some kind of elemental being altogether yeah nobody mentioned it to me though nobody say anything hey, traveler <laughs> maybe we should strike up a conversation with the person next to us since we're sitting together and the rest of the place is practically empty still it's kind of awkward if we don't say anything isn't that usually your job <laughs> Of course you put this on Paimon! Excuse me, I did not realize you felt awkward. I am terribly sorry. Um... I would be perfectly happy to chat with you if that is what you would like. Um, I, I don't know if it's just me, but he kind of sounds like Scrooge there, but I don't know if, if they have the same English VA. Oh, uh, He kind of has the vibes. <laughs> you heard all of that, did ya? <laughs> Boy, you sure have good ears. Paimon thought she was keeping her voice down. Uh, wait, that's not it. Paimon's sorry. Wow, he's uh, so fancy. Paimon's the one who was being rude, talking under her breath like that. Uh, so, let's talk, but, uh, what should we talk about? I like the way he's sitting there. <laughs> uh, oh, Paimon's got it. You're also here early and sitting in the front. Are you a friend of Linny's too? A friend, you say? Well, if Mr. Linney would like to be my friend, I would be more than happy to reciprocate. Oh, so you're not friends with Linney, then? Oh, this is getting more awkward by the second. <laughs> ah, uh, Paimon nearly forgot to make her introduction. Nice to meet you. Paimon is Paimon, and this is the Traveler. We just arrived in Vaudane. It is an honor to meet you two. I have heard of your deeds across the He does remind me of Scrooge so much. I swear, I swear, I, I can hear the vibe. And as required by proper etiquette, I will also introduce wait, myself. Wait, actually, I wait am... a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm gonna, I'm gonna search the VA name real quick. Okay, hold on, hold on. I need this for science. Okay, Google, tell me, Scrooge English. <laughs> Scrooge English voice actor, okay. That would be okay. Okay, okay. Um, no, wrong, no, not that one. Not that one. Okay, I typed the wrong thing. Okay, screw them. English voice actor, go. Please. Okay, okay. Has it been confirmed though? I'm not actually sure. Wait, has it been? I'm not really sure. Okay. Wait, is it confirmed? Wait, 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 wait. Um, rhythm. Is that right? Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm doing some googling here. Okay, Novelette English VA. <laughs> okay. Ah, okay. It's, it's a different. They're, they have different voice actors. Yeah. Okay, different. Confirm they have different voice actors, but they do sound the same. Yeah, it's the vibes. Oh, Monsieur Nervillette, <laughs> what an honor it is to have you here to see my show. Ah, Mr. Linney. I should say it is, in fact, an honor for me to see your performance in person. Oh, wait. Nervillette? Could he be. Hmm? I saw you all chatting just now, but it seems you still don't know who Monsieur Nervillette is. Allow me to introduce you to Fontaine's Chief Justice. That seat is always reserved for him. It wouldn't be too much to say that he's the symbol of justice and honesty here in Fontaine. Ooh! Uh, sorry for being so rude just now. Paimon had no idea you were such an important person. Well, we have run into a lot of VIPs during this quest so far. <laughs> no offense taken. Being Chief Justice is merely what I do for work. 
Nearly every person has their usual reserved seat, so I'm not so special, really. And by the way, I should probably let you know, even though I would prefer not to, there's someone sitting up there in the VIP oh. seats that has been striking a pose for quite a while now. She I wasn't there she was a while ago. Give you a most elegant and impressive first impression. So I think you should take notice of her sooner rather than later. Otherwise, she may become flustered. <laughs> huh? Oh, it's Farina, the Hydro Archon. <laughs> she sure has a smug and satisfied look on her face. Guess she has no idea that you saw right through her act. Very good. That is for the best. We no need to pay her any more, more attention. attention. <laughs> we may now enjoy the show. <laughs> this ain't about her, so true. <laughs> huh? So is this what things are like between the Chief Justice and the Hydro Archon? All right. Please wait just a moment longer. I've pretty much finished my preparations, and the performance will start as soon as the audience has made their way to their seats. The show's finally about to start! Ooh, boy, I can hardly wait! Kaiman's never seen a real live magic show before! The crowd enters the venue and the curtains open for the show to begin. Oh, cutscene! Oh, they're dimming the lights! The show must be starting! Hmm. Oh, sorry, Paimon will try to stay quiet. <laughs> I think our oldest seats full. Welcome one and all to the Opera Epicles. I am the star of today's show, Linny. And over here is my sister Lynette, who will be working as my wonderful assistant. Please, let's give her a warm welcome. Everybody clap. Hello everyone. <laughs> I know she may seem to be a little sleepy right now, but that's just a sign that she's nervous. Whatever. Now, some of you may be thinking, two vision holders who can freely manipulate elemental powers performing magic is not true magic at all. So, I would like to take a moment to assure you that elemental powers will have mm. nothing to do with what you will witness on the stage today. Both Lynette and myself have removed our visions for the show. Oh! That way, even the gods won't be able to help us. Oh, good point. That's what makes the show real magic. Now, without further ado, let the show begin. Lynette will now exit the stage to make some preparations. I know you might miss her, but don't worry. She'll be coming right back on stage momentarily. Perhaps in an unexpected way. I'm sure she'll be stealing the spotlight soon enough. Oh, and before I forget, there's one more thing I should say. I think this is the first time that we actually saw a full crowd here. <laughs> you never know what can happen in the blink of an eye. A magician's greatest skill is making things disappear or appear. The possibilities are endless. <sighs> hmm. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I still wonder how magicians are able to do that even in real life. <laughs> like how? What is thy sorcery? But this isn't what you came for. These little tricks, you've seen them all before. So it's time for something truly extraordinary, don't you think? This one's a little tricky. Oh! Using this water tank, I shall make my sister vanish completely, right before your very eyes. Oh! This is the one from the trailer. Ah. 
It's actually quite simple. She'll just turn into air bubbles and float right out of the top. Oh no. Oh shoot. I told them to check all the props carefully. Oh shoot. With the lid on, even air can't escape. An amateur magician would be getting very nervous right around now. <laughs> Luckily, it's me on stage, so let me show you what a true virtuoso <laughs> can do. Oh, Lynette, are you still there? Don't go too far. We don't want to use up all our magic. Hi, I'm back. Uh huh. <laughs> the trailer was a trap. Oh, <laughs> Fossil Lakes looks so happy. Like, a lot of us thought that this magic trick is gonna go wrong based on the trailer, but good thing it didn't. <laughs> No wonder he's a famous magician. If we could see easily through his tricks, then that would mean that his skills are still lacking. To appreciate magic, you should focus on the show happening on stage, rather than getting caught up in trying to see that which has been intentionally hidden. Mmm. Ah, guess you're right. Paimon couldn't believe her eyes when Lynette reappeared. Amazing! Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I'm glad you enjoyed that performance. But our magical journey has only just begun. I've prepared even more astonishing surprises oh, for everyone more? here. Oh, there's four? Okay, okay. The magic of transformation and disappearance can go far beyond what you've just seen. I'm sure many of you are thinking that escaping the water tank was impressive enough. But Lynette is still my assistant after all. In which case, I have ample time to make all necessary preparations. So, for my next trick, I will require the oh. participation of one lucky audience member. Okay, okay, Please, okay. If my assistants could bring out the magical boxes now, there are two boxes and only two boxes. One is here and one is there in the aisle among the audience. I'm sure many of our clever audience members have already guessed our next magic trick. <laughs> a swap! Our lucky audience member and I will each enter a magic box. After one minute, we will mm. each emerge from the opposite box. So the audience member will be cool as... Now please, everyone pay very close attention to the box you see here. Don't give me any chance to make a move. Wow! How's he gonna do this? Hey, do you think this is all magic tricks, or does Lenny have actual superpowers? Let's watch and see. The lucky audience member will be generated by this <laughs> random number selector. RNG. It selects numbers entirely at random. Even I don't know who will be chosen to participate. Now then, let's begin. It's gotcha time. <laughs> okay, let's see, let's see. Oh, let me see. Oh, row seven, seat three. Congratulations. You now have the chance to experience magic firsthand for an entire minute. Please, come forward. My assistant will take you beside the magic box. I'm sorry, it might be a little cramped inside, but no need to feel nervous. Oh, that's so cute. I've carefully arranged everything for you to be as comfortable <laughs> as possible. I love the props there. You don't need to do anything, but no matter what strange things may happen, don't come out of the box. If the magic is interrupted, who knows where you might end up. You might even find yourself in the Fortress of Meripede. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right. 
Before I enter the magic box, there is one more thing I need to ask the audience to do. Could you all give me a countdown? Yes, like sir. This. 60, 59, 58. 58. Just keep counting Okay, down. okay. You can go a little faster or slower if you like. Also, Mike Fu, welcome to the stream. I won't be able to see anything in the pitch black box, so I'll be relying on your voices to know when time is up. Oh, and no tricks now. If you quickly count from 60 in just 30 seconds, then I'll be in a tough spot. Ooh, Paimon kind of wants to come faster <laughs> after hearing him say that. <laughs> With the whole crowd counting together, you would you couldn't even if you wanted to. No, no, that won't do. I can see it in your eyes. You still can't be trusted. Let's practice together. Come on, repeat after me. 60, 60 59, 59, 58, 58 60. 60. That's right, perfect. Keep it going. All right, I'll see you all okay, on the other side. Okay, let's see it. Counting. 54, 53, 52. 52. Why aren't you counting, Nevelet? He's counting mentally, Paimon. I am counting in my head. <laughs> I think things are exciting enough in here as it is. Merely a consequence of my identity and personality. Do not worry about me. Just enjoy the show. You look so serious that Paimon thought you might be feeling uncomfortable or something. 40, 39, 38. Mr. Linny, are you all right in there? Is everything ready? Yes, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm just double checking the direction of the magic. It would be a disaster if we get sent to the wrong places. For example, midair right above the <laughs> audience. Oh, that would be so scary. Even though he's saying that, Lenny doesn't seem nervous at all. I think it's all part of the show. Bang! Ah, what was that noise? Did you hear it too? Maybe it was just to divert our attention. Not sure. Anyway, it doesn't seem like anyone's worried about it. 25! 24! 23! What's wrong, Mr. Lenny? I can still hear you moving in there. I seem to have accidentally knocked over a decoration. I'm trying to fix it, but it's pitch black in here. Oh, sure. Right. Never mind the decorations. There's no time for that. The show is what's important. No, that's unacceptable. I want my show to be perfect. Don't worry. We still have 20 seconds. Hear them counting? 19, you sure he's taking 18, his time here? <laughs> uh, it seems things aren't quite going as planned. I apologize, everyone. It feels like you're all starting to count faster, but that's all right. I know it can be tiring to do such a long countdown. Ten seconds and change is still plenty of time. Okay, cutscene. Almost there now. Whew. Swapping two people is harder work than you might think. Even a master magician like me can't guarantee I'll get it right the first time. <laughs> hey, wait. Is this the back one? I can't tell. They both look the same inside. Huh? No, that's not it. I'll try again. <laughs> it's all part of the app. Hey, slow down! Honestly! Five! Four! Three! Uh, whoops! That doesn't count! <laughs> Zero. Okay, okay. Alright, let's see, let's see. Oh! <laughs> and then the NPC! My God. Oh, okay. Plot twist. It was gonna go wrong after all. Huh? Is this part of the show, Mr. Lenny? You're going to use magic to fix the stage now, right? What happened? Oh no. Maybe this isn't part of the show. The girl was 
still in that box, right? This performance is over. Medical staff with me. Guards, secure the scene and detain all the performers. Oh, shoot. Sure. Seal the exits. No one is allowed in or out at this time. <laughs> yes, th that's right. If this was just an accident, then we must investigate the cause. But if this was all part of some scheme, then... Then those accountable will not escape the judgment of the God of Justice! No need to be alarmed, you two. We'll get to the bottom of this soon enough. After some time, the guards complete their investigation. Oh my Unfortunately, god. Unfortunately, the person who is in the magic box has oh, been shit. pronounced dead. His name was Cowell, one of the assistants in Linny's magic troupe. Oh god. Apparently, the fireworks on stage ignited the ropes that were suspending the water tank, which then caused the tank to fall onto the stage. The fireworks on stage ignited the ropes that were suspending the water tank. Which then caused the tank to fall onto the stage. As of now, we are still not sure why we found Cowl in the box, rather than the guest from the audience. And after an initial search of the area, the guards have confirmed that the girl is nowhere to oh be found. Oh my god. It appears that this incident was not merely some mishap with the performance. And there are many indications that it is connected with the case of the serial disappearances of young women. Hmm. Well, the... the serial disappearances case? <gasps> That's the case that Charlotte mentioned before! And to pull it off like this in front of an audience including the Archon and Chief Justice... <laughs> I know... I know the truth. I can see through the whole thing. Really, using such a shallow and obvious mystery as his finale. Did he really underestimate us that badly? I say that our powerful magician, Mr. Linny, oh. is now the prime suspect for the serial disappearances case. Huh? Why me? This whole thing was an accident. Oh. No, this all occurred during your magic oh my show, God. did it not? The missing girl disappeared after being chosen, did she not? The deceased is one oh of your my assistants, God. is he not? Of all the people that are that are gonna get framed or were likely to be framed, I didn't expect that it was, it was gonna be Lenny. <laughs> now that I think about it, that whole speech about magicians making things disappear was nothing more than a provocation, a bald-faced challenge. That can't be right. How can Linny do this? He was in the box on the stage the entire time. We could even hear his voice. Besides, before the show, he told us that he would like to catch the criminal behind the disappearances. He could have possibly mean catching himself. It's hard to believe all this happened during the show. Save discussion for a later time, please. Lady Farina. May I assume that your comments just now constitute an accusation against Mr. Linney and his associates, and that you are pressing charges? Huh? I just think that he... Well, I uh, think it might be a little early to talk about formally pressing charges. But what Lady Farina said just now makes perfect sense. Looks like she's gonna personally deliver justice. A kidnapping and murder carried out under the cover of a magic show. Oh my god. A lot of the all. people here are so gullible. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, of course, my dear people. But what excites me even more than the obvious truth before our eyes is the opponent I'll be facing. That's right. I mean, you, Oh. You'll support Linny, won't you? After all, he was the one who helped you the first time we met. I trust Linny. <laughs> then there's no problem at all. You know, the Traveler and I already had a duel the first time we met. But with Linny's help, our little duel ended in a draw. <laughs> but draws really are the most boring possible outcome. So, no more draws. Between the two of us, oh my God. a clear winner and loser. <laughs> and what better place to hold such a riveting showdown and decide the true victor than here, on the grandest of stages, 
of the Opera Epicles. Huh. It wasn't a draw. She obviously lost last time. I understand. Charges have now been pressed. Oh, God. Such, a trial is in order. Objection! Well, seems Lady Farina has set you in her sights. But putting her dramatic rhetoric aside for a moment, I would like to ask you, are you willing to act as Mr. Linny's attorney and defend him in this case? Wait! Huh? I mean, he could get Yanfei, but... Why? Why? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Very well. The trial will be held a day from now in the Wait. office. Wait! Both sides may investigate the scene to build their cases and search for the truth. A trial will be held a day from now. Both sides may investigate the scene. Oh my god. Linny and his troop are all potential suspects and shall remain within the Opera House. The audience may begin to leave in an orderly fashion once they have been cleared by the guards. A day isn't that long. Let's see what kind of case this big shot outlander can build in such a short amount of time. Can he really be a lawyer <laughs> under one day? <laughs> I'm really quite looking forward to hearing it. Everyone is dismissed and the audience begins to leave along with Verena and Nubilet. I am not that big brain for this. I am not prepared. I am not a law student, you all. <laughs> Sorry for everything that happened just now. Were you frightened? Of course! Who wouldn't be scared after witnessing an accident like that? Yeah, I'm a little shaken up myself. How could this happen? And poor Cal. I know you already claimed that you would defend me, but now it's just us talking. Tell me. Do you think I could possibly be the murderer? No. Good to hear. Thank you so much for trusting me. I'm sure everyone sees me as the biggest suspect at this point. But if you ask me, the whole thing is mysteries layered upon mysteries, such that all that's left is confusion. I don't know whether what happened there on the stage was purely an accident or not. And I don't know why poor Cal was in the box. Someone must have intercepted the magic trick. As for how that girl chosen from the audience could suddenly disappear, I'm afraid I don't have any answers either. If someone tampered with my performance, then we need to figure out what they did. Even a skilled and knowledgeable magician like myself couldn't pull all that off in just one minute. If I remember correctly, I think there was at least one or at least two Fontaine NPCs that were eavesdropping on us when we uh, went to Fontaine. Actually, even in Sumeru, there was a Fontaine NPC snooping at us for some reason. So, yeah, <laughs> it is very strange. Which is precisely why we need to investigate. As this book says, <clears throat> the impossible could not have happened. Whatever happened must have been <laughs> that which is possible. Where did you get those glasses? Paima bought them when we were reading at the bookshop in the city earlier. Pretty cool, huh? I can no longer unsee this. Don't worry. Paimon used her own savings to buy them. <laughs> it wasn't from our travel funds. I think they look cute on you, Paimon. You have good taste, Lynette. <laughs> <laughs> That's the right attitude. Feeling depressed isn't going to help me now. I need to get back to my normal self. But with the guards watching our every move, it's going to be especially difficult for Lynette and I to prove our own innocence. Good thing you agreed to be our attorneys. <sighs> Thanks for that. We'll be counting on you. Yes, thank you so much. I am really not sure how this is gonna turn out. I'm not uh, I'm not good at rhetoric. Okay. Uh I won't let you down. Yeah, just like this. <laughs> I hope. Oh. Since we're going to start investigating, Paimon has a question first. Where did Lynette go during the performance? Ah, oh, well... I'm afraid that would involve some of our essential trade secrets as magicians. The secrets behind our magic are past saving, Linny. I suppose you're right. The truth behind our tricks is going to be important evidence that will be weighted during the trial. <sighs> Tis truly a pity. As a magician, our magic show is a work of art. We've poured countless hours and spared no effort in perfecting it. 
But if revealing our secrets will help you uncover the truth behind what happened, then it will be well worth it. We should go somewhere else if we're going to discuss our magic tricks. We'll go speak with the guards, and in the meantime, you can go investigate the stage in the seating areas. Alright, let's go have a look while the investigation teams are still here. Detective Paimon is on the case! Paimon really isn't gonna take those glasses off. <laughs> okay.